Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. Took a second to get the screen to work for some reason, but it looks like we were raided and murdered. We are not what we're supposed to be. Is our bedroll still there? No, our bedroll is not still there. <laughs> oh boy. I had a feeling we were going to get raided. I had a hunch. I had a hunch, but hey, this place is A-OK, -okay, so that's good news. Hello and welcome back. How are you all doing today? How's it going, Delka? Let's go ahead and see what the damage is. Let's take a look at the good old event log. Proximity across the entire map. What do we lose? Large chest lost stability, flats and walls, and ceilings are broken. Ah! Eels, okay. Armor's bench, what do you take? He's destroyed a bunch of stuff. Chest lost stability, destroyed... Huh, chest lost stability and things are destroyed, but I don't see any... I, I guess he blew up stuff and he took stuff out of it after. But I don't see him taking items out of any of our boxes. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, lost all of our items that we were wearing. Oh, that was um the boots. That was uh that was our follower. Uh here we go. Stole a bunch of stuff. Okay. We stole a whole bunch of stuff from us. We're back to square one. There's some things in here, not much. So let's go ahead and let's it's gonna be a whole lot easier for us to show up from the desert. So let's go back to the desert. Oh my goodness, we cut ourselves in half. Jeez. Holy. It's gonna be faster to get back to our base in the desert than from over here. So let's go see. I remember eels being a little bit of an antagonist. Uh, beating up on some smaller starters. Good old raid and murder. Yeah. We're gonna have to see if he found our stash. I think he found our stash. But I'm not sure. He might not have found our stash. I didn't look quickly through everything, and you can't find stuff that's on... The, when someone blows up a chest and it's, it's on the ground, right? It, they can't find... Uh, it won't tell you what they picked up out of the bag that spawned from blowing up a chest. So let's go see if he found our, our stash or not. That's the real question. But now we have an enemy. The enemy is something knights from eels. I've not found their base yet, but then again, we only explored a good chunk of the southern side of the map and a little bit of the the eastern side of the upper territory. They could be one of these guys. We haven't we didn't check a single one of those yesterday. We didn't check a single one. Let's go see. How's it going, Staxer? How are you doing today? Yeah, we got raided. But that is the part of this game, and this is why. As I mentioned at the end of last stream, I was going to hop on a little uh, little early today. Just go and stash some stuff. Just to be sure. Also, while we're here, who's this? Have we found, did we find this one before? Yeah, we found this. We were in here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were definitely in here before. Let's keep on running. Let's go ahead and let's get some armor on us. Shoes, pants, gloves. We have a chest piece on here. A little bit, because we do get hit pretty hard these days by random mobs, so we might as well have some extra health. Or some extra armor, rather. We'll go for weapons next. Which means we're going to need to go and pick up branches. And then we need to pick up rocks. <laughs> Starting off from the beginning. Here we go. Just a tiny bit tired, but you managed to get some sleep. That's good. Hey, look, there's our base. So it's mostly intact. That's good news. Which means we can probably just reuse a lot of the stations. But this also is a good reason for us just to pack up and leave. Let's see if we can set up... Um... Let's see if we can set up our... Uh, like Rebuild our armor into like and then get up and out of here. Oh my goodness. You know what? We fooled him, everyone. We're good to go. He didn't find our stash. He didn't blow up this tower. What a fool. So we grabbed a couple of things in here. I tried to make it look as uh, homely. Oh, look. There was one still in crafting when it uh, when he came by. Nice. What a fool. Oh, my goodness. He didn't take anything from our snack chest? What a fool. Nah, he probably just saw that and was like, gross. Understandable. There's rotten meat in there. I don't know if I want to eat any of the meat that's alongside all the rotten meat that's in there. But this dingus... Missed the most simple trick in the book. Hide all your important loot. Oh, I didn't even take all of our all of our stuff. Alright. So what we need to do is we need to get ourselves up and running here. Uh, with some basic equipment. And I'm gonna do that in this broken base. 
And it's only going to be basic equipment. We're not going to take out our good equipment because I am worried that someone might track us down and get us <gasps> while we're doing that. So instead, we're going to go ahead and just get ourselves some basic equipment, some basic armor, and we're going to get up and go. That's our goal. Get some basic equipment and then we'll go. And we're just going to move straight to the north. A, be a beginner's mistake. Because now when someone looks at that, they're like, ah, oh, this place is raided. There's nothing of value in there. There's nothing of value in that base. Oh, well, I will tell you. They missed it. There's a roof on that base. Uh, we have to find some spare rocks somewhere. Uh, let me go back. Maybe we should go to the beach instead of over here. Let me find some, like, loose rocks. There's <laughs> no loose rocks. I need a couple of loose rocks to bang together, please. There's not a single loose rock around here. I should have made sure to pick those up on our way over. I was too worried trying to check out and see if we got totally decimated or not. But luckily we didn't. And now we have an enemy. We have a nemesis. Someone to ensure we put all of our all of our energy to ah, there we go. All of our energy towards the destruction of. Let's get these rocks. There we go. Okay, perfect. We got enough for at least some basic equipment. Um let's go ahead and start. We'll be walking over here. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need that. And we're gonna get a Defari. Defari X. Ah, I need some more twine. Get some twine. We need to get uh, some basic leathers going. Alright, perfect. So we'll put you over here. And I like that. Excellent. Ax. Luckily, we've got some strength, so we can actually do some damage. Oh. We're just going to need to grab what we can out of this guy. The volatile glands are nice, but it's not what we need. What we actually need is the leather. The leather's what we're here for. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's make sure this is properly swapped. Okay, so now we need some bark so we can go and tan this. If you haven't checked out the update, what's new for Conan? Oh, a whole bunch of new stuff for combat. A bunch of combat changes in Conan. A whole bunch of combat changes. Harvest trees. Luckily, and again, this is the reason why we haven't done the, um, we haven't unlocked the battle pass yet. It's still all locked up. Um, is because we want to have a proper base so we can actually use the items we get for free from it. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, we can go straight to tier two. So we're gonna move to the to our other base, and then we're just gonna go straight to tier two. Unfortunately, this means we can't do any raiding. Also, I now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I stashed our dragon powder. So he did get four free dragon powder. So this raid was 100% worth it because he used weird. He didn't go through the main door. He blew up right here. It's kind of bizarre. And then the roof. Oh, well, maybe it came from the roof, in which it was one, two. Maybe, yeah, maybe four bombs in total is what he used. And he got four. He could use more, but the four bombs. We had four uh, dragon powder, I think he got. So it was a it was a net positive or a net neutral for him uh, in the end, which is a little disappointing. But there you go. What's everyone? The building. You'll have no fear talking in chat now that we know people are online. Actually, is he online right now? He's not online right now. Okay, so he came on, he raided us, and he left. Okay. Well, it looks like, um... Nostradamus, who we talked to... Oh, no, there he is. Arknight Zoth Eels. There he is. Arknight. <laughs> um, we are back. There you go. Er, now, now, unfortunately for them, Nipples now knows that we were attacked. That's gonna actually put him in trouble. Funnily enough. All right, anything in these dryers? Oh, I got nothing in these dryers. Right, we just need to get some leathers going here. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, he left us all of the all the gruel. Well, that's some. But how's it going, kittens? How are you doing today? Spec kittens, how have you been? Well, that's just poor timing. New update. Um. So Ark Knight's uh, saying, "Well, that's just poor timing." I don't know what he's, I don't know specifically what he's talking about, but our killer is currently chatting in chats. Dun dun dun. Didn't even know. He was, oh my goodness. Good enough. I don't know why seams looks wrong. I think I was spelling the wrong seams. You know when you stare at a word long enough that then it does, no longer looks like an intelligible word? I hate when that happens. We're currently just waiting. The content in your eyes is not worth running. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, leather. Oh, our armor oh our armor bench is gone. Seams is too ease, thank you. Yeah, I kept doing the wrong scene. Yeah, thank you. English is great. Because how do you when you see something across the distance, that's S-E-E. -E. When you jump into the sea, the watery thing, that's S-E-A, both spelt differently, both pronounced the same. And so you've got seams and seams. So sewing a seam, and something seems to be that way. Gotta love English. It's not confusing at all. It's the greatest language there is. I have too many gripes about this language. And yet I'm only monolingual. <laughs> I can only speak English. Oh, that's funny. Anyway. Uh, Daggers of Dagon got like 50% nerf. Oh, thank goodness. Daggers of Dagon were totally BS. Daggers in general were BS in my opinion. Alright, so turns out armor might not be the way we want to go right now with this. Because we have to build a armor bench. I don't really want to do that. Uh, in, well, how much does it take to build an armor bank? It doesn't matter. Do we just run? I kind of want to just pick up and go right now. I kind of want to just pick up and go right now as it is. Let me just go and rebuild. I'm like super tempted to just do it. Can we just do that? English is not at all confusing. Yeah, it's, it's not confusing at all. Trademarked marked exactly right. Pick up and go, you would say? Yeah, I think we're just gonna pick up and go. I think that's what I wanna do. Uh, in which case, I'm gonna go and grab our stash super quick. We're gonna super quick grab our stash. How's it going, Wizardress? How are you doing today? How's it going? We, we just logged on today, and we were absolutely raided by Arc Knight Zots. Of Clan Eels. Haven't found him yet. Don't know where he is. But uh, we got absolutely annihilated. So this is the very start of the next day. Uh, yesterday's stream we had a bunch of stuff. We were planning on moving. We've got a new land claim and a new area we started building at. So we're going to get up and go. So give me a quick moment as I go ahead and uh, mute the game. And make it so you cannot see. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that a bunch. I do, I do. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go and snag our... Uh, our hidden stash super quick just so that no one knows where it's at i want to make sure that's nice and hidden i will come back over to the game we'll make sure you guys can oh, make sure you guys can hear the game bam done all right we're back and i've got all my loot do i have the dragon powder in here i feel like i didn't take it i did take the dragon powder he got nothing out of this oh that's great news all right, the problem is I don't know how much more stuff I can actually carry with me. So this is going to be tough. Uh, we can probably drop all this gruel, though. We really don't need it. Uh, we'll probably take, maybe use the tiger. Drop all that gruel, but I don't need that gruel. Yeah, we still have stuff from our spoils of war when we raided other people. So that's good. Do I care about all the stuff that's left here other than that? I think I'm just going to try and take everything. I think I'm going to take all the buildings. Ah. 
take all we'll take everything we can here. Well, didn't mean that. We'll leave the structure here though. We'll leave the structure, but we'll take all of the parts and pieces out of it. Alright, let's get going. We've got a long journey to go, and we gotta be as safe as we can possibly be. We're gonna, we're gonna start running, but we gotta be safe. If worst comes to worst, we'll just start throwing some cats on the ground, I think, right? If it gets really bad, we'll, we'll throw down a decoy cat. <laughs> we stole that on the raid. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this Defari Axe. Remember, we care we got two spare momentums, so we have a spare momentum. I don't think I stashed any armor, though. I didn't. I didn't stash any armor, so that's unfortunate. Did I stash anything else that's useful? Our journey right now. Uh, we've got some concentrated healing potions. That's good. We'll hold on to those. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll put the cat there. Healing potion here. Uh, what else do I have that I stashed? I'll check back on chat in a second here. Let me just make sure I swap out what I can. Get this blood axe. Just that. Uh, I don't really have anything else here. Any f actual edible food that I have on me? No, I don't. Okay, so I guess we are going to be keeping the bugs on hand. I don't have any, uh, any actual food prepped. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. Look at this. Alright, no one's currently following us, so this is good news. We like this. We don't have as much stamina as I'd like, which is one of the big things I'd want to have so we can keep on running. But we'll see what we can do. Um, How long have we been playing, Conan? I've got, I've got like 400 hours or something in this game over the course of multiple playthroughs. Uh, all of our playthroughs end up on YouTube. This playthrough is for the Age of War, us learning the new stuff for Age of War, so that the next one we do, we can do Iron Man playthroughs. I love Iron Man playthroughs. I love difficult games. It's one of the reasons why I like playing on a, on a tough PvP server like this as a solo. And streaming it. Where streaming sniping can be a thing. You know, I like the challenge. Right? As long as it's an honorable challenge. I like a challenge. Yeah, we gotta we gotta mosey on up. So we're gonna try and get up to our new base. We're gonna leave that base behind. We have all the materials we need to actually just quickly build out the base. Like immediately. We can immediately build out the base. But we have to be super careful with everything we're carrying on hand. You had to do that as well earlier on another server. Your current server keeps on kicking you out. Oh, really? I was messing with you in combat. Yeah, well, I mean Spexer, it is a West Coast it is a West Coast official server. And uh, you're in Europe, <laughs> so to be expected that there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of lag issues. Uh, official servers, the official PvP servers, at least. I don't know if all servers are like this, but official PvP servers require you to have no more. Oh wait, oh yeah, this guy was always here. We raided this guy. This is one of the guys we raided. Um, you can't have more than. Um, actually, we might just use his crafting stations here real quick if he hasn't. Actually, if he hasn't come back online, and this hole is still here... Yeah, he hasn't come back online. He's in the same spot as he was before. We can we can use his crafting stations here real quick. Let's have him cook me some meat. Uh, but you'll get... Uh, you can't join... Oh, nice! It ha there's still that, gl that glitch. There's still a glitch that if uh, it was currently working on something when it ran out of stuff to craft, it'll still burn. And then it'll uh, warp speed the completion of stuff. Harness. Armor, please. Thank you. Okay, so I have a little more armor. It's good. Uh, blacksmith. I've already got a weapon. I'll take his... I'll take that. Um, it's good for now. Uh, he doesn't have an armor bench. He's got some medium padding in here. Okay. Hey, Am. Ombujin. Uh, we've got the thick hide that we, uh, thick pieces that we need, so we can go ahead and get pants. We can go ahead and get um, gloves and shoes at the same, right? So we'll go get the shoes. One, we'll just use this place real quick to armor ourselves up. Actually, we can get more. Uh, medium padding, right? I mean, we should be running as fast as we can, but now's our chance to get some extra armor here. Uh, with this extra padding, 
armor on. Nice. Armor, drop the paints. Uh, we, we don't have the horns, I don't think. I don't think I saved the horns, did I? I didn't save the horns. I didn't think it was important. Uh, we can always get more horns later. It's fine. But we need horns for that. We'll go ahead and we'll make the gloves. Oh. Make the gloves, and then we'll have at least more armor. So that's good. We'll do that. Yeah, you kept going over 200 ping. Yeah, they keep kicking if you have over 200 ping. Yeah. You specialized in custom branding for streamers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, not at the moment, but I appreciate the offer. I do appreciate the offer. Oh, what kind of stuff do you normally work with for streamers and the like? Well, I probably should have done the chess piece, because I would probably have given me more than the, uh, the gloves. But it's not by much. The, the gloves, I think, are still pretty good, right? How much do the gloves give us? 22? That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll live. We'll live. Uh, is there an alchemy table in here anywhere? No, there isn't. There's just those. Okay. Uh, we're now going to have to deal with daytime, which is unfortunate, but we're going to have to start running. We can't rely on it always being nighttime for us to do this. You picked the wrong camp, mate. You can ignore that. That's that one guy that was in there. Ignore that noise. Uh, okay, so we're going to try and run along the river here, but we have to get up to our base, which, again, I'm very nervous about, because we are going to go past some relatively common areas that people hang out in. Uh, again, we have a weapon that can get like that can give enemies pause if we hit them once, but we don't have the stamina to actually outrun them. We don't have the stamina to outrun them or the health pool to properly hit them in a proper fight, nor the full set of armor required for us to actually take a punishing. So let's try our best. Oh my goodness, it's getting pretty heated in the comments over there. Whoa! Hey, if they're busy, if they're busy chatting, that means they aren't running around finding people, right? I'll take that. Do I forgot the thick hide? Ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll leave the thick hide. We don't need it. We can get thick hide up north. We can go take down a bear. We can uh, turn that bear pelt into thick hide. Thick hide's just rare down in the south. We find. Ooh, jeez, that's the base up there. I'm this way. But thanks for noticing that, so I'm not stumbling around looking for it later. We also found another base, so we'll go ahead and get that marked on the map in just a second here. If only we had a little more stamina. I feel like I say that all the time. Actually, I think I kept my climbing boots. Did I keep the climbing boots or did I leave those? Nah, I definitely left them. Okay. But there is a base right here, so we'll go ahead and question mark. We'll go check that base later. Found another one. All right, you're off to prep for work? All right. Take care, Spexer. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you around. Oh, uh, sure. I'm fine with that, Wizard Wizardress. You can do that. No promises, but go for it. Can we climb up this way? I don't think we can. Oh, I wish we could. I wish we could climb up this way. I don't think we have enough stamina to climb up this way, though. This would really cut down our journey if we did. Probably a thrall spot. We don't have to worry about that. Let's try. Unfortunately, climbing up here is a little tough. Recovery is a lot easier, though. These guys don't have an elevator. That would make life a lot easier. Actually, Stars, uh, Star Wars does have an elevator we could use. Unfortunately, the elevator is over here, I think. Well, I say unfortunately, that does get us closer to our goal. I was thinking of going along the highlands, though. Along the cliff edge. Alright, here's the real test. Can we make it up this part? Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Halfway. Come on. No, we can't do it. We don't have the stamina for it. No luck. Okay. We're gonna have to go down. There we go. Uh, it is down below in the about section there for you, was it Chris? Down the about section. Let's get going. 
So we're going to have to run past... No SPMP, there's no need to be so cordial. Uh, to not be cordial. Yeah, you can still be cordial. I'm usually pretty cordial. Yeah, Rafiki's online. Okay. We've seen his base. I marked it somewhere. Oh no, I think we found his base and it was like destroyed. So we didn't even mark it on the map. I really would like Funcom to add additional um, marker slots that you can put onto your map because we constantly run out of those slots. <laughs> there's so much stuff on these maps. Uh, there's so many bases people put up. I I just need I need more slots. All right, so we're gonna have to run past border control here, and hope the border control does not uh, take any take any real interest in us here. Because we're gonna have to run past this white tiger that probably can two shot us, which doesn't sound like we aggroed it. That's great. Uh, border control has a pretty big clan, and we know there's at least four people that were online last time, so we gotta go. We just gotta get over to Star Wars base. Ah, it's gonna be so out in the open if we go that way, though. But I mean, it's, this is this is the decision we made. We're gonna have to live with it. All right, let's at least get into the waterway here. It's where the tiger can get us, but we should be okay here. Okay, so that trap has been fully built now. It wasn't before. The re mm, I don't know if I want to go up this way. I'm just so nervous. We're carrying everything on us right now. I'm so nervous. Our base was raided. We now have to go and we're, we're running in piecemeal gear. We got a piecemeal piece of like setup of gear here. Uh, we at least are in a place where I feel comfortable uh, defending myself against horses. But I am worried about. I am worried about running into just regular players that are running around. If only we had sorcery unlocked. If we had sorcery unlocked and a handful of uh, tier 2 pouches, I would be batting like crazy. Oh wait, no, the bat, I like the bat can carry you when you're over encumbered, is that right? I can't remember. Can the bat carry you if you're over encumbered? Going along this way. Anyone following us? Not that I see. Here for a bit. All right. Come on now. We're almost there. We just got to get inside. I mean, granted, we could be raided. The raid window is still open for another hour and a half here. So by no means are we are we safe. Uh, even once we get to the to the new base. Even once we get to the new base, we're still not safe. Let's get around this one here. Lo I can see the location where our new base is. It hasn't, hasn't zoned in yet. We can at least hide around these buildings. Too bad Goomba stomping is, uh, is no longer a thing, right? <laughs> if so, we, I would feel perfectly safe. If we could still like stomp on people's heads to destroy them. I feel like I don't remember this building being here. We'll investigate it another time. I, I can't... I I really want to check it, but I, I can't. We, we can't. This is, I'm too nerve-wracking right now. We gotta be safe. We gotta be safe and gotta get home. Home is right there. We can see where it's supposed to be. We know it's intact because all the chests are still intact. No one blew that up. Problem is, now I can't... I'm not gonna really get the time to sit down and redesign it how I was planning on redesigning. I don't really want to make it a big cube if I can help it. Alright, there's home sweet home. Gotta get this stuff behind a door. Just gotta get behind a door. Home sweet home, here we go. What we'll probably do is we'll dump this all off inside. We'll spread it out in locked chests in random areas. Just so that it would be really obnoxious for whoever decides to raid us if they decide to raid us over the next hour and 24 minutes. Um, and then we can go ahead and redesign stuff. We'll, we'll create a little bunker. We'll move everything to the bunker. 
And then from the bunker, we can then build our ideal building. Oh, uh, looks like our stamina bugged out. I'm very nervous. Please don't just suddenly say I have no stamina. Okay, cool. Oh. Wait. Oh no. Wait, are we lagging? Are we lagging? No. Oh. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Hold on a second, everyone. We're going to try and jump back in. This is bad. We just got disconnected with our entire base on us. Oh, this is not good. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, this is really bad. This could be really bad. We could be out in the out in the absolute open. I think the server is still down. Your ping is maxed out for the server. Guys, I have very bad news. I think we're hosed. I think I think we're hosed. I think we might have just lost everything. The server just crashed. I don't know if the server in its entirety has crashed or if just we got kicked out. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. I don't know what we should do. That's everything. We had everything on us. There's not a, I don't have anything hidden anywhere else. That was everything. Uh, the moment I saw the door wasn't there, I was like, wait a second, that's weird. That doesn't look right. And it happened as soon as our stamina... Oh, actually, you know what? Since it happened when our stamina closed out, which was at 80, after us jumping, we might be unconscious right underneath our base. Let me go ahead and restart the game. We're going to go ahead and we're going to restart the game and see if that helps. That'll at least let us know if it's my side or if it's server side. And if it's server side, the problem is, unfortunately, we don't know how long the server is going to be down. And with not knowing how long the server is going to be down, we have no idea when I'm going to be able to save our stuff. So th this is what we call bad. This is what we call bad. Alright, we're going to give this a try. Reload the game. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. Come on. Uh, it would have uh, been better if we just tried to rebuild at our old base. At least we still would have had all of our important stuff stashed. I would have only taken out enough stuff to rebuild. Oh, no. And we made it so far in that journey, too. But I think... We're at the bottom of our base. I think we're at the bottom of our base. I hope that's where we are. But last time we were streaming this game and the servers crashed, we ended up in a situation where the servers weren't live again for like a couple hours. It was a few hours until the servers were live again. Luckily I was able to gather everything um, in time then, but I don't know this time because this server is more busy than that server was. Okay, attempting to join game. Come on now. We've restarted the client. Please be a client side thing and not a server side thing. If it's a server side thing, we might be done for today. Come on. Ah, uh, it's not it's not loaded loading us in. I think it's still down. I think the server's still down. This is just the worst time for this to happen to us. Oh my goodness. Please. Sorry, I'm not going to show anything here because I don't want to show all the servers that are marked. Uh, but, oh my goodness. Yeah, it still says attempting to join. Oof. I don't know what to do. I mean, worst case scenario, what'll end up happening is we'll end the stream early, uh, because there's nothing else we want to do, uh, gaming-wise. It's the main game I want to play, and I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be too self-conscious about trying to get on. 
And what we do is I just I'll check on the server like every hour, a couple hours. And hopefully we can get it, but if not, then not. But oh my goodness, come on game. Please. Yeah. It still says attempting to join. I'm confident the server's the server is down. I'm confident that's the case. The server is down. Uh, I Hey, at least if the server is down in its entirety, that does mean that, hey, no one else can gather our stuff. But it is very unfortunate, because I really wanted to play this game today. How's it going, Liam? Hopefully you're doing better than I am. Yeah, the server's not even in the server list. I don't even see it in the server list this year. It's just gone. Let's see if we can look this up. Man, exiles. We'll, we'll back up. We'll back up here so we can just go to this screen. There we go. So you can just see this. Now, well, right, we'll, we'll stay back on this one. I'll keep looking at the servers. I want to keep looking. I want to keep checking. Conan exiles. Um, what is it? Uh, server status. Let's check the server. What is the server status here? Server status, population zero player count. Okay, cool. Yep, it's down. <laughs> Looks like the server's currently down. Downtime history. Yeah. Most of the time it's not down for long, but... Looks like in the past it's been down for like 30 minutes on the high end. Hmm. I'm gonna start fresh on a new server. I mean, I just don't want to have to start over at level zero again. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I thought I'd do that. How quickly do they usually start them up again? It depends. It depends on what the caused the crash. Um, according to this, over the last 30 days, the longest outage was an hour, and the shortest outage was five minutes. The average outage was nine minutes uh, over the last month. So it's not bad. But it's already been over five minutes. So. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Oh. Well, again, the bright the one bright side, the one bright side, is it was not us alone having the server go down and someone finding our body lying there on the ground. So that is, that's the one bright side, is that, hey, at the very least, our stuff is safe right now. It's not safe forever, but it is safe. So that, that is a good thing. And I'll, I'll, t I'll take what I can take. So let's play this fire. We could play Slay this fire. Um, I kind of just wanted to play Conan. There's like other things I should be doing tonight. Since it is a Sunday night. The things I should be doing. Game. Yeah, no, I think I think for if we don't get anywhere, I'll probably we'll probably call it. We'll probably call it. What I might what might end up happening is maybe we just take a one hour break. Since the downtime is only about an hour at max on here. What I can do is instead of us staring at this, returning in a few, right, or me playing a game and constantly pausing to check this game to see if it's up and online again, what I might do is we end the stream here and then I go live again if it's uh, if it's back up and running. You can hear every time I go back to the game is uh, music starts back up. <laughs> you can hear it again. I think that might be what we do here. We'll see in a moment. I'm looking to see if the list pops up again. Right now I don't have any list shown to me. Yeah, it's still not up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream here today, or at least for now. And then uh, if I can get back online in the next hour or so, I'll just go live again. I'll throw a, a notification in Discord, and we'll get a notification going through Twitch's app and whatnot. We'll be back up and online. And then for anyone who's watching the VODs right now, uh, we'll just splice the second stream straight up into the... Oh, is it back up? Oh my goodness. Wait, is it? I'm like, as I'm just like, oh, we're done. I'm giving up. It's over. It immediately comes in and says it's back. You're getting my hopes up there, King. Come on, King Diesel. Don't don't play with me. 
I'm hoping. Hope comes back up tonight. If not, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't see it at the moment, so I'm actually gonna I'll exit out of the game again and then try again from here. But King Diesel knows what server I'm, knows which server I'm currently playing on. So if King Diesel says it's online, I trust. I trust. Let's go. We're gonna restart the game from the client. Uh, cause yeah, I was also saying otherwise we'd see uh, Nipples isn't currently hanging out with us in chat, so we're gonna go ahead and restart this thing. All right. Perhaps also restart Steam? Yeah, I just restarted Steam. Or, or rather, I closed the game on Steam and I'm restarting. It's not a bad idea, Rose, if it ends up being a problem. Time for a little tea and some and a stretch? Maybe. We're restarting right now. We'll see. How's it going, Hefe? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing better than I am. <laughs> so we're struggling to get back on the server. I need, you know what? I need to get a technical difficulties uh, screen on here. I should get a technical difficulties um, like screen where we can, you know, where it's not like, hey, I'll be back in a few. I really, we really only use this screen that we will be back in a few these days for whenever we're having like technical difficulties. I don't think I use it for, we haven't, ha we don't take breaks in stream anymore. We used to, the first two years of streaming, we used to, but the last three years we haven't. I just don't take breaks. I just go straight through the game, uh, straight through playing it the whole session. Um, alright, logging in. Connecting to Funcom. Come on, Funcom. Let me down. Oh, King Diesel, I hope it's up. Hoping it's up. Oh my goodness, it is! Yes! Alright, fingers crossed. Here we go. Here we go, fingers crossed. How's it going, Brady? How are you doing today? Uh, it's your birthday? Doing amazing? That's awesome. Oh, we have all of our gear? We're here? Oh, wow. We're... Okay, perfect. We weren't in a bad spot. Excellent. Go, 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 go. We gotta run. We're back. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Uh, let's see. Is any... Uh, is the, did the server population get decimated? It did. Very few people are back online. We only have about half as many people on now. That's awesome news. <laughs> that means we have more safety to get over there. But we have all of our equipment on us right now. No one would have left the momentum in my inventory. There's no way anyone would heal my stuff and leave momentum in here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, we have everything. <laughs> Run! Oh, my goodness. Stuff's happening? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe it. How's the Age of War? Like it? Not? Why? I'm enjoying the Age of War so far. We haven't gotten too deep into it. The combat's very more... In it's a lot more intense now, The the combat from the Age of War. We get hit a lot harder these days. You know what? Let's just build this bunker down here. Heck with it. We're just we're gonna build a bunker. Yeah, look look at how much we can build. This is why I was like, no, we can't lose this. Look at how much building supplies we had. Right, we're gonna just build a quick little bunker over here, and we'll then we'll start moving stuff up there afterwards. Let's build a tier two bunker. Just gonna build a, a quick little. It's not supposed to go there. Okay, let's get some walls. We're gonna make it at tier two, and then we'll then we'll go and we'll move up there. Oh, bored. Don't you even think about it. So unfortunately, this means we probably won't be raiding today, but that's okay. Is this a friendly server? I'm not typing in chat. All right. We made a complete cube. Oh. There we go. All right. Perfect. Done. Now let's go ahead and let's get some boxes in here. Uh, we should probably get the bigger boxes in here. We're gonna put one here, 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 we're gonna put one here. Now the reason for this is so that if anyone comes and does raid, they're gonna have to go and bust all of these. They're gonna need more than just some explosives to get in. They're gonna need some explosives to get in and then a bunch of explosives to blow up these because they're gonna be all in separate spots. Oh my goodness. Oh, so much better. Safety. 
We did it. Woo! Done. You're sweating and you're not even on the server? I was sweating, that was for sure. Jeez. Oh, we did it. Okay, King Diesel, thank you so much for saving the day by letting me know that the server was back up and online. Because I was honestly going to I was gonna end the stream here and then check in 10 minutes. I was going to end the stream there and then check in 10 minutes. Goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to... Let's see. Which way? In, which is the front door? So this is a, co a cool little thing, is that if you actually build yourself in somewhere and you have your building hammer, you can actually see outside of your, your building if you want. So you can actually see if people are running around outside like this. It's a cool little cool little trick. If you're if you're curious. But yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll bust a hole in the wall here. Oh, that's right, I dropped everything. Um just I need brick, iron reinforcements, and shape wood, which I don't know where the shape wood went. Where's my shape wood? Built this out. Built the door here. Built the door. Okay, so we have a door to get in and out. Perfect. Go ahead and we'll get another door. We're gonna make a proper airlock. This is supposed to be a bunker after all. We will we will build a proper airlock on this. A cramped, obnoxious little airlock. Wait, what? <laughs> Why can't I do that? There we go. Perfect. And we have it raised so you can't put explosives right there. Alright. Um let's see. We still have we still have an hour before raid window ends. Alright, take care, Wizardress. Have a good one. Uh so we can still get explosives going. I think we might go do that right now. Let's see if we can get some explosives going. We need. But we need iron. What else do we need for fireball cauldron? Alchemy, fireball cauldron. All right, perfect. We can get that going. Uh, we need a tar for the explosives. I'm thinking we blow up that little shack over there so we can have proper space to build. Uh, demon blood and fire, perfect. Steel fire. And then we needed the brimstone and the crystal. Crystal or brimstone? Crystal or brimstone? Where's my crystal? What? I must have gone right past it. I must have breezed right past it. Hold on. That's neat to know you can do that. Yeah, you can just uh, see through walls. Right, where's my brimstone? Oh, the guy stole all of our brimstone. We have zero brimstone. I didn't stash any of our brimstone. That's right. So we have no brimstone. I can't make more explosives. All right, we'll have to do it later. Unless we do a brimstone run, which right now just feels like a really bad idea. Okay. Right. So instead, let's go and build our base. Let's go build a new base. So let's go ahead and we're going to take all of the building materials that we could possibly need. We're going to put them in one box so I don't have to keep hunting between all the different boxes. I think that pig's trying to hit us right now. Let's do that. Not going to use steel and reinforcements on this current one. Uh, we're going to actually pick this up so there's no light being emanated from here. We don't want that. Okay, and this box is going no, uh, this this box, which is empty, is going to be our builder building box. We'll take one. We'll take one. We'll take one. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go ahead and figure out how we want to build this base. We have what we need. We're secure for now. There's no one nearby. We have this little rinky dinky base over there. A bunch of boxes in it, so I am worried that someone will try and destroy it at some point, but we're gonna decide how we're gonna do this. So I think first things first, we're gonna go and build the anti-climb on the outside, and then we will reset the interior, and we might have it connected, we might not. I don't know exactly how I want to build this out. 
to be honest. Because this big brick wall, this big brick I'm not interested in. I like rounded buildings if I can help it. I don't know exactly how I want to do it. Also, I don't know. Do we want to do it in stone brick? Or in insulated wood? We have the stuff that we need to make, like, 300 and something foundations for insulated wood, so we could do insulated wood instead. Hmm. I don't know. Part of me doesn't actually really want to build on this yet. And wants to leave this. I kind of want to leave that a little longer. Let's go scout that real quick. Maybe we do a quick basic base over there. Just so we can have all of our stations placed down. Oh, that's right. You can also turn off our policy uh, cauldron. That's right. To turn off the light. I was mentioning that last stream. Yeah, yeah. Let's go check here. How much can I build on this platform here? Because we could build like a small basic base right here. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too special. Just something with all of the... All the crafting stations. Okay, we can't build all the way to the edge here because it gets too close to this. We can at least build right here. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's build here real quick. Let's make this a small little base. We'll make it nice and tight and compact. Which is going to be a little obnoxious for me because I don't like really tight bases. But we're going to go do that. And then we can really have more time and energy to, to freeform the rest of the, the new base. Let's just try and make this one look at least, like, decent. But I want a little more time to just figure out how I want to design it. We could just make it an effective, you know, PvP base, but that's no fun. I want to work on my building skills. I want my buildings to look nicer. You know? We'll get a good old build, a uh, good old room set up here. We'll get some pillars in here, so we're gonna we're gonna go and get a good number of pillars on the inside. The reason we want to get a good number of pillars is so that we can have proper stability across the the whole unit, uh, the whole building here. And with that, then they can't just blow the like the foundation and take out the seam. This should be large enough for us to play with. Go ahead, and we're going to put our door on this side. Even though that side makes more sense, we'll put the door over here. We're going to have to go pick up more building materials, so we can grab these walls. And so we can uh, have more stuff being built in the meantime. So we'll do this, and we're going to build some other walls in here. Two, three, one, and two. We can always build off of this later, too. If not enough, then build upward to make use of the footprint. Yes, so that's that's exactly the idea, is we'll build upwards if needed. We've already caught on. Because we have plenty of verticality we can play with here. Although, if we can stay low, I'd rather stay low. Just make, it makes it a little harder to be spotted. But yeah, so I want to make these, like, separate rooms. Well, I, I, I say I want to stay low, but I always end up building too high buildings, so... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you can actually climb up. You can actually run up and around this, as you can see. You can actually run back and forth. Doesn't look like you can, but you can. That's why I'm putting a, our front door over there. Climb in. Is this all? All right, we just have to survive for another hour, and then the raid window will be closed so that we can take as much time as we need. So it looks like what we ran out of is the reinforcements, so we'll take two stacks of reinforcements this time. Leave. Go ahead and... One. Okay, we're, we're lagging a bit. Makes me nervous, but again, we are inside, so if, the, if it's crashes again, it's it's fine. We are, we're, if we're safe inside. Well, big deal, don't worry about it. Oh, I missed it. Go around from here first. There we go. 
some daisies. Down we go. All right. Perfect. All right, more walls. Not that way though. Use the right way. Go. Uh, when does the window end? The raid window ends in 58 minutes. We have 58 minutes of time that we have to survive. Alright. Go and put the door here. Two there. Oh, nope. Nope. It was the right, the right. It was correct the first time. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. I just want to get on the roof here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and your ceiling. Get the ceiling place. And again, we're gonna we're gonna make it look pretty. Well, because we'll end up using this base as well. I think. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this. I think we're gonna keep this one here. We'll turn it into maybe. Well, we could use this as a decoy base, honestly. If someone goes to raid us. If they spend a bunch of time breaking this base down and it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here, like we have a bunch of boxes and we have a whole bunch of crafting stations and the like, maybe people will go and bust in here using explosives and find there's nothing. Just waste their explosives and give us some time. We have to get Brimstone, and Brimstone is not easy to come by up here. Brimstone Lake is the closest place we can go to. But it's, it's always a risky bet, bet to go over there with just how many Alpha Clan bases are near that area. Yeah, so you can see the stability in here isn't the highest. So we're definitely going to want to get some pillars in here or some more additional walls. Great. Go ahead and get staircase in here and get a door. Perfect. We can go get another door here. Alright. So this is going to be our temporary base until we build our better base. That's fine. It'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and... I don't want this to be symmetrical. I want to make this actually look nice. So this is one room that we'll use here. Um, I don't want... I like thick hallways, but I don't know. I don't know. If there are map rooms set up again, then uh, where are the other sources of brimstone? Oh yeah, so just so... For those that are curious, other places of brimstone, is that you've got brimstone in the Executioner's Entrance and the Skulker's one over here, which for some reason is not on the map. And these two caves here. Uh, there's the cave over here. That has brimstone in it. There's brimstone along here and along here. I don't know exactly where. I just know it's I know it's in this vicinity here, in this vicinity here underwater, and then brimstone lake, which is way over here. Place to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Which none of those are nearby where we are. So like from here to here, we'd, probably what we would do is we'd go through the tunnel, which would kick us out here, and then we have to run down. Or we can just go from here over to here. And since there's an obelisk here and an obelisk down here, right? Uh, if there's a map room, there wasn't a map room. I know we, yeah, there wasn't a map room when we checked up here, was there? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a map room up here. But there might be a map room down here, so we might be able to teleport from here back up. And that just makes a safer run. Crafting stations themselves can partition the space without walls. True. True, true. Uh, for us to do crafting stations, though, I'm going to need to go and start setting up some, some stuff here. Can't really get that in the wall because of this. Go to the ground. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's put this here. Right over there. What do we need? We need the iron. So I need the, uh, what, iron for a lot of these? Actually, look... Grab some extra knowledges before we continue. Let's grab some extra knowledges for crafting stations. We want to make sure we have all the tier two crafting stations unlocked. 
I'm assuming we don't. Maybe we do. Definitely need to unlock that though. So unlock this. Unlock brewing. Getting a little ahead of myself with unlocking this stuff. We can unlock the masterwork step as well. Master Mason. Iron Shaper. That'd be good to do. I'll have to go track down some more blood crystals at some point here. Because I want to get some golems going. Okay, looks like we have almost all the crafting stations in. If not, all the crafting stations already unlocked. Okay. All right, so this thing is set up here. Let's go grab some iron and the like for the rest of the crafting stations. Go do that. We didn't check the, um, what is it, Godclaw Pass? We didn't check that, which is probably where we should check next. I'm sure we don't end up in trouble. We still have enough here. We'll take these bricks. We're actually going to be low on bricks. Ooh, we're going to get pretty low on bricks here. Okay, we'll take wood and stone, because we're going to need that for some of these. We'll take the iron. We're going to take more iron, though. Take another thing, iron. Uh, what else could we possibly need for crafting? Uh, we're going to need bark. Which, I bet I didn't save any bark. I bet all the bark's gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the bark's gone. We'll have to go get some bark in a minute. So we won't be able to put the tannery down, but we can get other things down. There's no trees that are, like, right here. We can go grab the trees down below. But again, I don't really want to be carrying all this stuff while collecting that. Mm, we can do it real quick. <laughs> get a quick bit of bark. Quick bit of bark here. There's about 270 bark in one of the chests. Not to start with, at least. Oh. Well, I don't know why I care. I don't know why I saved bark. Shouldn't tell. There's, like, no reason to, but okay. Well, I'm blind. I know that whenever the chests are as disorganized as that, I, I struggle to find everything. But I'm glad that you found it. It lets me know I need to go back there to check. Ah, twine. Didn't bring any twine. Ah, twine. Jeez, okay. Uh, well, I know for sure we don't have our sickle. So we can go ahead and... Let's unlock the steel sickle. I know I left that one. Or no, it's unlocked, of course. I just didn't build it. I don't have steel on me. Right, we'll build the steel sickle in a minute. <laughs> like, well, gosh darn it, we'll do it in a minute. Alright. Let's get a furnace... I'm gonna put the furnaces here. Put the furnaces there. I don't wanna build this. So we're gonna take this wall back down. We're gonna leave this as an open floor plan for a second. We'll build it out from an open floor plan. Put you here. Not these furnaces, the nicer ones. Let's get two of these down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get a tinker bench here. Uh, let's go get our. We can't get the better tannery. <laughs> we'll have to wait on that. Place the glowing structures near the center to minimize illumination. Um. I think what we're gonna do is just at night we'll turn them off. At least for right now, because we're trying to be stealthy. But yes, I'm gonna I'm definitely putting the fireball cauldron in the center of the room, for sure. I'm definitely putting it there. That's the, the brightest one. The furnaces can get pretty bright too, but I'm definitely putting that one there. We'll do that, we'll do this. Improved carpenter's bench. Go ahead and put you here. Okay, alchemy. We've got the alchemy table. Good spot right there. Fireball cult. Oh, that's not a good spot at all. That's a good spot. Nope. Nope, it isn't. Just put it here like that. There we go. Put you next to it. More center, this one. 
Actually, you know what? If I have it centered like that, let's go ahead and let's spin this around. It's not quite straight, but it's good enough. Oh wait, I want the improved one, not the basic one. Right, we can straighten that then. There we go. It's the improved one. Blue press. Okay, can't do that yet. Cooking, we can at least get the stove. Let's chuck this stove right here. Uh, the campfire. We can put the campfire... The campfire over here. It's not on often, so I'm not too worried about it. Land stuff, farming stuff. We're definitely going to need the compost. We have not been playing with compost. I want, I want compost. Uh, we want to dump chest by the door, so we'll go ahead and put you here. Decoration, storage, storage. We want to dump chest right here by the door. Okay. And then, oh, no, and then crafting stations. Farming general. We're going to need a grindstone, which we'll put over right here. That'll work. Don't have a need for dryers. Don't have any. I don't need the, I need the insulator for that. Religion, sorcery stuff. Oh yeah, we can do the golem crafting station and assembly. Uh, we'll wait on that one. We don't. It's, it's not required. We don't need that right now. And the same with these. We can wait on those. Okay. Let's go back to building pieces. Let's go back to reinf stone, reinforced brick, or stone brick. Let's get some walls placed. Compost over a little more. There we go. Okay, let's just go ahead and get this wall here. We do need a proper airlock, right? So we're going to have a proper airlock here. But it'll be with our, our dump chest and the like. So it could be unfortunate if someone gets in, but it's our chest for dumping things off. It's no big deal. So we'll do that. So we'll get that place there. Um, let's go ahead and we'll make a, a kitchen out of it. How do we want to cut this down? Set this up here. There we go. And I don't really want to cut this in half. I kind of like this as one solid room for building. It's so actually, here we go. We can have it just be two entrances to the same room. There we go. Let's get some doorways. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. And then a couple of doors. One and two. Nice. And what we'll do is we'll cut this into a kitchen. So let's actually spin this bad boy around here real quick. Spin this campfire. Spin the campfire around and let's put it here against this wall. And then what we can do is we can put a, a bed in here. I want to bring it out one. Oops. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. To destroy this. Let's do this. Ugh, it looks bad looking that direction. Let's spin this around. There we go. Keep the inner walls looking this way. Just looks better. And here. Oh. Here. We have this big open space in the center here, and what we can do with this big open space is we can just start piling thralls in. There we go. It's not the nicest build, but it'll do. But it'll do. All right, last thing we want to do here is we need to get some boxes. We need to get some boxes down. Storage, storage boxes. We're gonna need a box here. We're gonna need a box here. Lock you. You. Want a box here. And want a box up here. And we're going to want a box in here. And there we go. And we can get a bed in here. Which 
we don't have we don't have the hide twine. Okay. Perfect. So now that we've got this set up, all these boxes, we'll dump all this stuff in here. Uh, do you want to do you want to put the tiger down? <laughs> I think we're gonna wait on the tiger. We'll leave the tiger in here for now. There we go. We got a little tiger. You can see there. We'll put this here. Okay. Let's move everything out of our other bunker. We're gonna leave it with all those chests in there. We're not gonna remove the chests. We're just gonna leave them in the empty in the empty building. So again, someone might go crazy and start blowing up all these in here. It turns out there's there's nothing in there for them. We're gonna move everything to the new base. Take everything. Take everything. Take everything. All right. Perfect. Everything's been taken out of all these chests. Empty, 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 and empty. As we'd like to see. With that, we'll leave this here. So now we have up there, right here, and then the actual base. <laughs> and then we'll go and we'll fix this up. So I do want to have that be our main base upstairs. Of course, we're going to be at risk of trebuchets. Uh, but that's fine. There's no place that we can put a base that we're not going to have any chance of issues. This is, of course, the dump chest. The all-important dump chest. And now, we actually have a place for us to go and dump all of our future mate. Amazing. The bone meal and fiber. Bone meal and fiber. So now we can start making more compost. I, don't, I do think I did stash the... Yeah, 391 compost that we found. We should be in good shape. We can get everything else we need done. Which, actually, let's go get that knowledge real quick. Get the, we already have the peasant knowledge. Let's get the farmer knowledge. It's, so far, it's peasant. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. What do we need for these? For farming? Bricks? I have no bricks. Oh, that's because I dumped them all in here. We need to get more brick going. Oh, wow, do we ever need more brick? Holy. What's going on, Sky Kitty? You're just here listening while playing your game? Hey, no worries. Do what you gotta do. Do what you like playing. I just appreciate the company. Let's get that going. Actually, right, let's get that going. Let's get this going with another thousand iron reinforcements. I might as well get that started right now. Let's go over here and get you with more shaped wood. I dropped off all the wood, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, fine. All right, fine. So we're going to just drop a couple of boxes here. These are going to be our true dump chests for the moment. Since my inventory is so full, it's kind of a nuisance to search for anything in it. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Done. All right, now we can go harvest stuff without much worry. Perfect. Um, we'll get the smelters going in a minute. Some brick in here. Twine in here. Brick and twine. We'll take the iron. Uh, we'll take the insulated wood. The iron reinforcements. Take the shaped wood. Take the bark. What else do we need for making things? Was there anything else we needed to make things? Make our other stations? Because there were still some stations we didn't build yet. Like the tannery and the like. Was something needing steel? I think someone something needed steel. I think that's all of it. Okay, I think that's all of it. Perfect. Back over here. Crafting station, smithing, improved tannery. Go ahead and drop this bad boy here. Actually, wait, do I want it here or do I want it um, over here? I'm going to put it here, because we have the tannery table here. Alright, we've got the tanner table. Might as well do that. Let's drop you off. There was some hide in here, right? We're going to need to get more... more tar going. More steel fire. Uh, we should probably get more steel production rolling, so we'll work on that one here. So we can drop this off in here, and let's get enough steel fire for that. Just be two stacks of this. One, and... 
do. Also, grab that tar. Was there any other tar in here? No, I think that'd be the only one, because it'd all be stacked otherwise. For real. Drop this off in here. Go ahead and yoink half of this. Nope. Oh, that's right. I miscounted how much we needed. <laughs> that's fine. Let's go ahead and let's get more iron in there. We want to just do a bunch of steel. We're going to be, we want to move to tier 3 if we can. Actually, we could just use this base where it is right now for tier 2. And then build out tier 3. For our final building. That would make sense. That wouldn't be a bad call. There's smelter in our... St uh, I had two smelter ones that I left as decoys in the last base. So we only have these two smelters left. Our tier 4 smelter, which is the first one we got. And this tier 2 smelter that's going to be riding in this box. Like it's a little tub. Let's put that in there for now. I need a little more iron, though. All right. What else have we not built that we need to build? We need uh, like the improved Tanner's table. That's right. This thing takes up so much after. Jeez, oh, it takes up so much space. Oh, my goodness. It takes up an astronomical amount of space. Fine, we'll leave it in here. We can come through the two different doors. This is the one we want to be using. It's just so big. It's just huge. Alright, is there anything else in here we need to do? Oh, yeah, we need to get an armor bench going. And the improved armor bench requires more bricks. More oh, bricks are required. Uh, which I think that's enough, actually. Perfect. The armor bench right here. Perfect. Uh, what value is there in the improved tanner's table? So the improved tanner's table, which we unlock through the journey system, so you have to do that every single playthrough. You're starting from scratch again. You get more from stripping. So you get like a little bit more, I think it is. Uh, it's either that or, or up here. I, I don't remember what it is, but you get, it's a little more efficient. So it uses a little bit less raw resources to make whatever it's converting. I think when it converts... I think it's only t uh, two reptile hide instead of three. No, it's still two. Everything here requires two. Make one. And everything in here requires two. One vine, three fiber, and one vine. It looks like it's the same. Maybe it's faster. I don't know. I thought it was... I thought it was better, I don't know. Uh, I believe we need more brick before we can get the dismantling bench up, yeah? We've got those done. Blue press we're gonna need. Let's take the blue press right here. No, I think I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this. We're gonna stick this in this room. Right in the corner here. It doesn't look like it's going to go through the wall, so it's fine. Okay, so it's good there. Cooking, uh, we need the barrel. We need the fermentation barrel, so we can go ahead and put you here. Actually, we should probably move this there. Put you here for right now. Put you right next to it. And we'll move this here. We can interact with this even with that there. This one's our. Is this in our snack chest? Oh, I didn't name it. It's, it's here instead. Let's see. Uh, if you want to make tar, you shouldn't strip hide, at least with the types that produce normal leather, but tan them directly. For example, two reptile, uh, two reptile hide yields two tar if tanned directly. If it's stripped, it's three normal hide. It yields one tar total. Wait, really? Three hide gives one tar? I thought it was a one for one. Am I wrong on that? I thought one hide gave one tar. I'm gonna watch this complete. Oh no, you're right. You're right, you're right. Because it takes three hide to make one leather. You're right. Interesting. So then you should only strip reptile hide and others. I've just always been stripping it because I think we get more leather out of it. But you can just direct leather 
directly tan reptile head into leather. All right, Rose, that's that was very informative. Thank you. I did not know, and now I do, and now I feel silly. I swear, as I as I keep saying, there's so much in this game that I swear I keep learning. I constantly learn new stuff in this game. All right, we just need the dismantling bench left, I think, right? Playing stuff, farming stuff. Oh, we just need the dryers as well. We're going to want one dryer here. I don't know if I can squeeze them in. Okay, put there. One dryer here, and we need one dryer. Get that in here. Nice. Okay, that's done. And then dismantling bench, which requires a bunch more brick, which is just, we're completely out of brick. I've used all of my brick. We have no brick left. I don't think there is any more brick. I, I think we are actually all the way out. Yeah, we are we are plumb out of brick. Okay. It's fine. Uh, this box here is going to be our building box. We're going to leave the tiger in here, because why not? Uh, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves some more stone. Uh, with an iron pick. We should probably do that. So, I can't remember if we need you or not. Steel pick, excuse me. 22. I think it's shaped wood, or is it still... Sticks. It is still branches. Crazy. Okay. All right. And leather. Leather and steel and. I don't know. I don't think I have any branches. I don't think I kept any of them. Oh no, we would have had some because I was picking some up at the very beginning to make our basic tools. So we will have some. There we go. Perfect. Some branches. Uh, before we build this... Some armor 2. Armor 1s. Blacksmith 1. Blacksmith 3. Here we go. So this is a blacksmith 2. So that's more durability. Craft me this, and then finish crafting me all that. Oh. Skip this, because our iron pick is kind of an abysmal item. It's not that good. While we wait, we're going to pour ourselves some more water here. Perfect. Okay. So the raid window closes in 30 minutes here. Um, we... Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave that guy in there for now. I don't know, we could try and still do some raiding, but... The raid window is going to be kind of tough for us to get to. We have to go get some brimstone. We don't have any brimstone anywhere nearby. So we'd have to do a run for brimstone, and then get back, and then go and build more explosives. And <laughs> then... Yeah, that's going to be kind of tough. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Let's go ahead and let's get a bunch of wood. And keep the insulated wood, or not the insulated wood, the shaped wood going. And we'll get a whole bunch of... Wait, why... I said I needed a pick, right? Not a, not an axe? I have an axe. I've got a significantly better axe. Whoopsie daisies. I built the wrong thing. I got distracted. I was thinking about wood. Alright. Let's make an actual pick. It doesn't hurt to have a backup pick, though. Because we can't repair this blood axe. This black blood axe, at some point, is going to become unusable for us. We won't be able to use it at all. So, it is perfectly fine. That we've already built one. Because we'll need it in the end. The main thing is just to wait to go do this again. All that going, and get you in here. We definitely want to take him out afterwards because they're very noisy. Okay. So, but as you understand it, it is good to strip things from thick hide because thick hide is one-to-one -one for tar and leather. Ah, okay. And having it, uh, having it looked up, the improved tanner's table is faster and has more capability. But otherwise, no greater function than the normal one. Okay. 
So if you can if you can live at the slower speed, then it doesn't matter. That's good to know. Uh, we're gonna need what ten iron, I think. Come on. Uh, twenty iron. Make the no, reinforcements not pairing. There we go. Simple kits. I have used this now, so I don't think I can add it on, right? It needs to be full durability. Ah, well. No, that's a reinforcing kit. That's not what I wanted. I want a tool upgrade. Yeah, that's fine. We can dismantle that later. I think I'll get a lot of, a lot of stone. Bam. Okay. Now let's go grab a bunch of stone. I know what I'm doing. Trust me, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We are going to want to get a, a raw wheel going soon, and then start working on getting a Leanne. That'd be good. We do have a steel truncheon that we got when we were raiding, so we don't even have to build one. We can just use the steel truncheon, which is good. It'll save us some time. We don't have to go and make the Fortress workbench or anything. Still do need to level up a little more so we can actually fight better, but at least for the time being, we've got everything we need uh, in terms of leveling. It's explosives. I mean, do we want to try and do a quick run for Brimstone? I think I do. Let's try and do a quick run for Brimstone. Let's drop this off to get this going, and let's do a quick run for Brimstone. We aren't carrying all the super important stuff on us anymore. We have a bed here to be able to teleport back to uh, if we die. And this, other than the momentum that we have on hand, which of course we can just buy. It's not that expensive. Um, there's nothing we're carrying on us that's tough to re get to earn back again. So let's, let's go try and get some brimstone. That on, and we'll go make that pop off. You top this off even more than I thought. Two hours for that one. Four hours for this one. Here we go. Uh, tannery. This. A little hide spark, though. You have a sandstorm mask? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need a sandstorm mask. Yeah, no, I don't have a sandstorm mask, do I? Um, I can build one. I just have to learn it. Mask, sandstorm, unlock. It needs steel and what? Steel and light padding. Light padding just requires some light leather. Take it to count. Take it to count. Oh, we need 40. It's not enough. I know we have plenty somewhere in here. Or did I also deem light leather not worthy of saving? I deemed light leather not worth you saving, but luckily we have just enough. We have just enough. Because we need... Oh, wait. Uh, no, we don't have any. I think suddenly, like, as I was starting to type in light, it dawned on me. Wait a second. And leather is from medium armor. That's okay. Luckily we have some healthy humans over here. And go borrow their leather. Nope. Oh, some steel. I'll take that. Take this. Uh, I don't know if the other person's here, but we can at least see what's in the chest. Ooh, golden part, bones. Yeah, honestly, I'll take it all. <laughs> honestly, all of it's actually quite useful for us. We'll take it all. Yeah, nah. Whoops, I missed that one with the rawhide. That's okay. We have some willing donors outside, you know? that They're willing to donate to the needy. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll make our mask out of his, uh, out of his skins. Oh, then we need some twine. Touch twine. Mask. 
fire is light. Oh, HT. Light, which only requires two. Perfect. Like this. And then while that's being made. Tier 2 armor. Bunch of tier 1s. Okay. <laughs> We're going to need a better armor at some point. We're going to need armor at some point. But here we go. We can get this going. The old Zamorian dancer gear. Love to see it. Steel. I don't have enough. Uh, give me that steel. Pop up that steel. Mask. Go. Perfect. All right. We've got 23 minutes. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, but either way, we should go and pick up more brimstone because we're going to need more brimstone regardless. Oh, nice. We don't, have a, we don't actually have a helmet on right now, so we'll just put the mask on right now. Works for me. All right. We should have everything else we need. Uh, we should dump this stuff first, though. Yeah, I don't need to carry any of this on me. We'll just dump chest all that. Let's do a run to the Brimstone Lake. While we're over there, we'll be able to do a little bit of light scouting. Our objective is not to... Or our objective is not scouting in and of itself, but uh, scouting doesn't hurt. What we want to do is if we can get the Brimstone, get back here and blow this entire building up, I'd be happy. Because that building is in the way of us finishing off that. But I don't think we'll be able to. We've only got 22 minutes. It's not a lot of time. Oh. But enough time for us to make the journey. We need to do the journey regardless at some point. And if we can come back with a bunch of brimstone, that'd be great. Okay. No one's built down here. Very interesting. Usually people will, like build thrall spots down here. I'm surprised no one has. Oh, wolf and the puppies. What are those, though? Would springs be more dangerous or less during the raid window? Uh, arguably less dangerous during the raid window, because people would be busy defending their bases or attacking people's bases. So technically, it would be safer during the raid window. But if someone's bringing loot back, or they don't have enough brimstone to make all the explosives they need. They might be going there getting some more. But arguably it would be safer. But not by much. After the server crashed, though... Because it seems like some people are still struggling to get back online. So after the crash... Maybe it's safer. We'll see. You think less? Raid rides from... Uh, Raiders ride for war. It's true, yeah. Uh, but for structures, which can only be attacked in the window, not farming, that can be done at any time. Yeah, instead of attacking farmers, kind of focusing more on raiding buildings. That makes sense. This area is kind of devoid of buildings. I'm a little surprised. No, we'll keep on going. So someone's down here, and someone's over here, and someone's here. So there's three bases. We can't really check them right now. Uh, if we end up running past them, we'll take a quick peek, but otherwise, I just want to get them go. There's a building over there we can take a quick look at. Oh, we need fiber, though. I don't have a crafting... I don't have a construction hammer on me. Or not a construction. I don't have a repair hammer on me. Fiber, make more twine, let's see the wood, and with the wood we'll be good to go. Two hundred and fifty-six from one swing. This thing's nuts. Use that and drink up because you're thirsty. All right, real quick. Who's built this? Well, we've got some insulated wo uh, dry wood in here. I'll take the dry wood at least. It's gonna go to waste. I'll take it. 
We're almost to this guy's base. He's probably built way up on top, I imagine, as they usually do. It's a little difficult to check. I'm hoping they've got a... Ah! Wow, the tradeway is... Whoa, okay. It's a lot in the tradeway here. Uh, but there's a staircase there, so we can go check that staircase real quick. Yikes, this is a big alpha clan. Hopefully this is not eels. So that's the people that raided us and destroyed our house. A, a lonely flotsam house. How dare they. As a level 60 fully built up player. How rude. That's okay, we're supposed to... We need to start doing that ourselves. Who is this? So this is this is Stargate, okay. Alright, so we haven't run, had any run-ins with Stargate yet. Who raided you? Um... Uh, we'll just, uh, let me get let's let's get on the right path here, and I'll I'll let you know. Let me my auto run going here first. See who's over here, real quick. I'll tell you in just a second here, King Diesel. Just a second. Who is this? This is Femboys. Okay. All right. They were on recently too. Okay. So this and that's these guys are probably Femboys here. So this will be. And boys, extra capital E there. And boys, I want to make sure I don't fall down here. Yeah, it was uh, Ark Knight. Uh, Ark Knight was the one who uh, attacked us, raided us, destroyed everything. He's part of Clan Eel. That's correct. And then up here was Stargate, not to be confused with uh, Star Wars. Yeah, Ark Knight from Clan Eel attacked us and stole all of our stuff. I'm assuming he might be one of the question mark ones down south of our location. And if he is, I can't really fault him for it, because we're right next to his base, if that's the case. Okay, 280. Come on, keep, keep going. We're gonna try and we're just gonna try and ignore these guys while we do this. I like that these guys are all brimstone rock noses though. That's nice. Going. A couple more and we're out of here. We got 15 minutes left on the window. I'd like us to make enough explosives. We're gonna need like 15 explosives to do what I want to do, I think. Right? How many bombs does it take to get through tier two? It takes four, right? It takes four to get through tier two, is that right? I think that's right. Alright, let's start heading out of here. We got two K brims down, that should be enough. Crystal Rock Nose. We're gone. We're gonna head back out of here. To go up and over, because we fell down before. Yeah, I'm assuming Clan Eel is one of the... one of the bases that we've seen in the far south. That's gonna be my assumption. My assumption is Clan Eel is one of these guys down here. Like, either this guy, or uh, this guy. Should probably put a question mark on. So it's either this one, or this one, or that one. Because they're all within our vicinity. So I imagine one of those is Clan Eel. But we won't know until we get more stamina, so we can actually climb. <laughs> we just can't climb far enough. Or until we get sorcery and we unlock the, the call. So we can actually, actually swim. So someone is up here. This is what we tried to build last time. I'm getting distracted with scouting. I shouldn't be scouting right now. We only have 15 minutes left. I'm curious who lives here. We should have an elevator somewhere. No? No elevator, really? Alright, well. Someone was built here. We'll at least make a mark about that. That's fine. Now this platform down here is very suspicious. It's got it's got roofs and and see, uh, roofs and foundations. Uh, and they were here just a couple hours ago. Might be a fishing a little fishing hut or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we'll go down here. Lake Watch. There's another person. Go ahead and check them. 
to get moving home. Yeah, there's some more bases down here, too. We'll do a proper search down here later. Who's this? Basement troll. Online three hours ago. Okay. Basement troll with one L. Right. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get the job done. We're just not fast enough. I was building out the base a little too nicely to get stuff going. That's alright. We'll get us. Oh my goodness, Static Pulse is still here. Static. Oh yeah, Static. Wait. What clan was Static Pulse part of? Oh, I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. Static Pulse is still here. Static Pulse was part of a clan that. Uh, what was it? Uh. Oh, there was someone that was else, someone else on the server that was like against Static Pulse at all times. Actually, I think Static Pulse is part of Pika, right? How did I say that? Static Pulse is part of Clan Pika, right? No. So Clan Peep, okay. Yeah. So Arc Knight Zots from Eels is who raided us. Ah, I see. Look, I think I think Bear, who's level nineteen, was hanging out in chat with us. Good old Bear. That clan name looks very familiar. Let's keep on going. We get twelve minutes. There's no quick and easy way up. Well, we can go up and around that way. Hmm. You deleted your character? Hey, yeah, there you go. Wait, like, did you just recently delete your character? Or are you just jumping back on the server? Like, you've been playing on the server for a bit. Because I deleted my character. I did play on the server before. But I deleted the character. I like starting from the beginning. You know? Yeah, today, starting fresh? Nice. Starting from the beginning is nice. I do like it. There are some things that are a little tedious, like the sorcery stuff. It's a little tedious. But it is also kind of fun to have that be part of the experience that you gotta go do. I see it as part of the it's part of the enjoyment of this game. You were level 60? Nice. Where were you building before? Since your base is no longer there, I'm I'm sure you're okay with uh unless you're planning on building there again, of course. Where, where were you at? I'm always curious where people prefer to build. When you, delete, when you delete your old character, does it delete all of your old structures as well? Oh yeah, it deletes everything. Everything's gone. Everything vanishes when you delete your character. Yeah, no, they're, they're all gone. Oh no, you think they just decay? Maybe. Maybe they just go instantly to full decay state. They might go to a full decay state, and they don't have the countdown for two weeks. So that wouldn't make sense if that if that character isn't there anymore. But I'm pretty sure it does delete everything, doesn't it? Because I remember there's like, isn't there like a pop up that says like caution, right? No, they go poof. Okay, they just go poof. You've left things for yourself before. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. You like to build in the highlands but have only tried PvE so far. Yeah, the Highlands is beautiful. It's nice. I'm a fan. Right, we got 10 minutes. Okay, so it's gonna take another minute and a half to get everything set up here. Uh, we're gonna go and immediately start making dragon powder. We might be able to make this. Uh, we've got some stone we're gonna have to grab along the way, so we're gonna whack a couple of stones on our way in here. Perhaps they changed it? Maybe. Because we need to delete this entire building here. Uh, but of course, if we delete this whole building, who are we going to be pissing off? Thantis, who was here 50 hours ago. So it's been two days since Thantis was online, it looks like. It's like it's been two days since Thantis was online. 
That's not too bad. They're not a super active player. Climb back up. Yeah, when the doors don't... When the doors don't uh, render in as you like get up close to them, I always get nervous. Alright, here we go. Bunch of brimstone for you. Uh, we need... Blood. And... Heal fire. And crystal. Where's my crystal? 999 crystal. Bam. Why is it... Why do I have 999 crystal? Doesn't it stack to 1,000? Am I crazy? Yeah, it clearly stacks to 1,000. Let's build six of those. Um... There's steel fire to make more of them, so we'll just dump some more steel fire in here. Uh, how much could we make in total? Make a little bit more. Uh, the We need stone. Hopefully it hasn't burned through all this stone yet. It hasn't. Take this. Make a bunch of jugs. Jug. Let's make all those for now. It's fine. We don't have to be precise. We're just going to take as much as we can. We're just going to grab everything and run. There's four demon powder in here somewhere. My four demon... Uh, not demon powder. Dragon powder in here somewhere. Perfect. That's dragon powder. The urns. We got seven minutes. Perhaps 999 by chance. If you have a stack and need one for something. Maybe. I don't think there is anything that requires just one, but... Maybe. You tried it earlier, and it was all gone when you came back to them? Hmm, okay. We got six. Five. I'm just going to make them all ahead of time. Just so I don't have to wait for the crafting time, so we can just plop them all down. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this off here. Drop this off here. I'll just take this out of my inventory here. There. This down here. More urns. We got five. So does anyone know? Um, yeah, explosive arrows is more economical for raiding the dragon powder, but we're trying to level the entire structure. Our objective is to completely demolish the whole structure. But otherwise, yes, you're absolutely right. It is more economical for raiding. You're absolutely right. Alright, we got a couple minutes left here before we're gonna run. Yeah, it takes a while to get this done. I don't have any... Oh, we have a cook, though. We've got a cook. We've got a cook. We've got a cook. This will go faster now. <laughs> He's hanging out in the stove. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Your target will need to be nearby five minutes to reach and wage your attack. Yeah, he's right around the corner. Um, does anyone... That's the thing is, that's why I'm asking. Does anyone know how many explosives we need to blow up a Tier 2 foundation? How many explosives is for a Tier 2 foundation? I think it's three for a Tier 2 door. Um, but how many for a foundation? Right, we got five minutes. And as soon as I have four minutes, I'm just watching the clock here. As soon as it says four minutes, we're going to run. Whether this is completed or not. We can always come back and get more. A couple more here. Okay, come on. Going. Watching the clock. Sandstone brick has 75. Uh, sandstone... Uh, yeah, 75,000 health. Alright, we're out of here. We gotta go and grab this and we're running. Yeah, stone brick foundation has 75,000. What does a bomb inflict? That's what I don't remember. I don't remember how much a bomb inflicts, and that's why I'm asking. If anyone knows. Alright, we gotta go. Let's get this done. We need to level this cute little building. It's a thrall spot, so there's nothing super special in here. We'll find out shortly. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and we'll put three by the door here. One... 
Hopefully that takes care of it. I'm hoping that'll take out the door. See you in a minute. We'll hang out right here. Just so hopefully no one... If there's anyone nearby that heard it. Three more. that door. We've got three minutes left. Okay. I think it might be four to just take out a door. I don't think we'll be able to level this thing. I think we need significantly more firepower to, find, to actually... Yeah. Alright, so it takes four explosives to take out a tier two door, it looks like. Oh no, it takes way more than that. That's awkward. Alright, well, we won't be able to blow this up then. We'll do another three. We only need two, but I want to see if this blows up the foundation as well. I'm checking that foundation. So it's very least we can hop inside. A little hot feet to get in here. There's no one active in here from thralling. Yeah, didn't do any actual damage out of it. Oof. All right, we're gonna need a lot more than if that's the case. So we're gonna call it here. We don't have we don't have nearly enough explosives for it. You have to align them on the terrain easier to place. Yeah, my goal is to blow it up and then to gen just like the interior just be completely covered in them, but we'll leave it without a door. We'll have to go and get rid of it another day. But there's nothing for us to take. I mean, there's like a rawhide thing and some heavy leather. We're not going to take anything. That way, if they look at their uh, event logs, they'll see that all I did was I blew up a door and then left. So hopefully that'll keep me off the radar. Yes, I attacked you, but yes, I also stole nothing. So, we'll see. Pick. Oh, yep, yep. And there we go. Alright. And the raid window is closed in a minute here. Oof. Done and done. But yeah, so... The explosive doesn't do that much damage at all. Doors? Or just in general? Like, we just need more explosives. A neighbor's dubious greeting? Hello, neighbor! Just thought I'd throw some fireworks your way! Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a full set of proper kombucha armor here. And let's get, uh, get going, right? Some thick leather. We've got what do I need? Yeah, we got a bunch of spare dragon powder in here now. Got that far. Have to start making more steel fire. Okay, we'll drop this off in here for now. Need off in here. We need to get some planters in. Oh yeah, how's the brick going, by the way? I stole a lot of stuff. Is there... How much brick's in here? Good. Just enough. Just enough brick. We just want to get more steel. Because we're going to... I think the plan is we're going to make tier 3 for our next base. We're going to need to rush getting a bunch of... Well... Wait a second. What level blacksmith do we have? Am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I'm doing this wrong. Give me this. Give me all that. This is super inefficient. <laughs> this is super inefficient way to get the uh, steel. Go. Building iron reinforcements for the moment. Uh, where's my building box? This is my building box. Iron reinforcements. The steel fire. 
in a tier three or four. Um, and we take all of the iron out so he doesn't try to build all that first. There we go. We'll make a whole bunch of steel reinforcements and then we'll drop off the rest of the iron in here and turn that into regular reinforcements. And this is going to take like 30 something hours. <laughs> You have Icker, you can make a lot of alchemical base too from all that dust. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely what we're going to be doing. Because we've, we've looted all this dust. We're definitely going to be making alchemical base out of it. Uh, though we don't have any Icker on us. Well, we have some. No, I don't think I took any. I don't think I saved any because we were we used to live right next to... Oh, man, we actually have all these iron reinforcements too. We can convert. That's fine. We're just going to convert the ones that we stuck in there for now. But uh, we used to live right next to a whole bunch of spiders, so I didn't. Where is the nearest spider to us now? The... Oh, we can just go down in the cave. Easy. You can put unwanted flesh directly into the compost heap. Yes, they decay a whole lot faster when you do that. It's not actually just meat that does that. Any Anything with a decay timer actually goes significantly faster when you put it in the compost pile. So anything that has a decay timer will decay significantly faster, which is pretty cool. I need, what, is it 150 of this? I think it was 50 of this? Is that right? That's 100. No, that's yeah, 100. We'll put this in the other room. And put it in a room like this. There we go. We'll go ahead. Well, actually, we don't... <laughs> We don't have a lot of things I need to go and dismantle anymore, now that I think about it. We used to have a whole bunch of random gear I was planning on dismantling, but, um... Not really any much. Uh, not really so much anymore. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get a couple of things built out for us. As blacksmiths, we're going to need to get a sickle going. Uh, so we'll stop this. And I need a steel sickle. Which does take shape good, okay. I went the wrong direction for it. I think we get this for now. Uh, you need eggs. Ha Wait, eggs hatch faster, for example, but then the hatching dies faster too if not retrieved. Wait, what? That one I did not know about. So you can take an egg and stick it in there, and it'll hatch faster. Well, that's crazy. Craft all these. And then craft all this. Let's also give me that steel. I think, didn't we convert? Don't we have tier two? Yeah, we have the regular upgrade tool. Crafting one of these. I put the basic one on here. I should have gotten the higher tier one. That's okay. And conversely, you can keep an egg from hatching. Or an unplaced animal from dying by keeping it in a preservation box. Yes, I know the animal, but I didn't know about the egg. Very interesting. Hmm. The more you know. Right. Sickle acquired. We'll go and we'll pick up some silk while we're down there. Uh, let's go drop this off. I need more leather and more hide. But we need to go get some more hide too while we're out and about. Ugh, I really need to organize everything here. <laughs> right, let's go at least get some blood so we can respec whenever we want to. Uh, let's get rid of this feral flesh, because we don't want this anymore. Um, get a lot of tier 3 stuff built with that later. We can dismantle... Well, we'll hold on to it. We can dismantle it if we want to, but we'll hold on to it for now. Uh, we'll get rid of this. We'll take that. We'll... All right. Let's just go ahead and dump this off. Not post. Perfect. Actually, wait. We wanted that. We wanted the human flesh for squishing. We wanted to squeeze the human flesh. We need blood to respec. Is this a new thing? 
any curious applications of the game mechanics. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things you can do with the game mechanics, and this game really has it uh, kind of set up that way, where you can kind of go a little crazy. You can be very, um, be very creative. All right, medium armor. Let's see here. So we already have the boots, the legs. We're missing the chest piece and the helm. So we'll need one here. The Kombujan armor actually requires the hide. I didn't keep any of the hide with me, did I? Let's go kill a bear on our way. That's fine. We can get that done. We'll just have to, we'll have to live with what we're wearing. We'll just keep wearing this mask. It's okay. Alright, off we go. How's it going, War Hunter? How are you doing today? Now when they have made changes to legendary weapons, wonder if they'll make changes to legendary armors as well? I don't know. Yeah, I know they made changes to legendary weapons. Like, all the legendary stuff is now very different when you look at it. But I don't know about that. Hmm. You need straight hide to make uh, light padding for the mask. Craft some remains. Yeah, we'll need to get some heavy hide. Or thick hide, rather. Actually, we just need hide in general. We have armorsmith. We have armorsmiths. So, with an armorsmith in a tanner's table, you can actually create thick hide with three basic hide. It was nerve-wracking seeing a horse hanging out right there. I really know what that's going to be used for, where it's supposed to go. Hmm. Alright, let's go over here and let's go get some ichor. A bunch of alchemical base. We can use it to, we can actually use that for a bunch of potions. Kind of nice. Uh, but the big thing is we need uh, hardened, we need hardened brick, we need iron reinforcements. Is there anything else we actually need for tier three? Why do I feel as though there's a third thing I'm forgetting? Go ahead and unlock this. And then if we go to building pieces, we get a reinforced stone. Oh, just shaped wood, but that's, that's easy. We can get plenty of shaped wood. So it's the steel reinforcements and the hardened brick. Hardened brick will be easy enough. We just have to go and get a bunch of brick going. We've got plenty of stone consolidate already from the raids that we did. Let's get fighting this guy. Don't need to fight him. And then the iron, the steel reinforcements will be the main constraint. And we could do it with storm glass. I know everyone always says use that because it's it saves your steel, but I mean, or I, I, you use that instead of brick, right? Use it instead of something. Uh, black ice uses insulated wood, so you don't have to do brick. It's fine. We still need steel, so it's fine. Mostly the brick, which is the limiting factor. Tier three at least requires fewer steel reinforcements than tier two of iron. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, at least. Alright. Um, I, yeah, I think I've got enough stamina to be able to climb up here. Yeah, I've got enough stamina to climb back up. That's good. Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure we don't go down here and we're stuck. We should have made a stamina potion. We should, be, we should always have a stamina potion on us. Alright, I'm going to need someone to help remind me. We need to go and make potions. When we get back... We need to make a bunch of potions, so we have those on hand. Oh. But killing these spiders will give us a good chunk of exp wow, okay. wow, we are pretty easy to kill. That icker. The chitin is good because we can use that for bone mail. Wow, what level are these things? These things have no help. Come here, spider. It's one shot in them all. Works for me. Feral flesh is definitely gonna be awesome. Not using that. Yeah, we're willing to do a proper brimstone run. If we cleared the entirety of Brimstone Lake, we should get like five levels. I think, if we clear the entire lake. So that might be an objective we could do in a moment here. Once we get after we do a big stone and wood run, 
So we can have our stations just doing that forever. Yeah, this is the one that links to the jungle. That's the one. If we had more stamina, I'd actually have us climb to the top of the... I can't see it because we're looking through the water. Um, I'd actually have us climb to the top of the tower there if we had a little more stamina. But we're not high enough level for it. Actually, wait. I did level once when we were down at the Brimstone Lake. So we can go ahead and we can get that last point of strength, the Combo Monster. Alright, so now that we have Combo Master, the rest of our points are going to go into... I think we're going to go in max... Right? We're level 40, so we have two more lanes we can... Yes, wow, we can't max... We can max one thing and leave something else at 10. I think we're going to max Vitality and put rate right at 10. That's what we'll probably have to do. We could definitely use more Vitality. What we'll do. How's it going, Left Hand Luke? How are you doing today? Captain's Log? Oh my goodness. The Captain's Log on a day like today? The sad Captain's Log, that's for sure. 500 acre. I don't know how much acre we actually need. I think we should actually kill the queen while we're down here, too. That'd be a good chunk of experience. I think we can do it. Maybe. <laughs> but we can always run if it, if it turns out we can. I'm just killing these. these spiders are running away from us more than they're fighting us, honestly. Something to do with the path in here. This game definitely needs a... Uh, a little bit healthier. One each acre, dust, and silver make the alchemical base. So, 250 sec. Oh my goodness, then we need. Oh my goodness, we need so much acre then. If we're gonna go crazy, if we're gonna go buck wild with alchemical base, we're gonna need so much acre. We're not even close. The amount of dust that we have is an insane amount. And we can't. Re I don't think we can convert dust back into bars or coins. I think once it's dust, it's just dust. Oh, this thing has no health. What? Does anyone remember when this queen actually used to be a challenge? Wow, he was like almost no good. Jeez, they have really lowered the health of enemies. Wow, have they lowered the health of enemies. Holy. The queen only had like 500 health. We just absolutely decimated her. This cave used to be a threat. I guess now, once you have a legendary weapon, you're good to go. It was a good chunk of experience, though, so we'll take that. We, we still do need to level up to 60. We actually have a, a chance of fighting against uh, others that are running around in the exiled lands. Don't need to convert all the dust. Yeah, just merely an option. Yeah, yeah, we'll just grab some. I'm just going to finish clearing out this cave. And try and get another level here before we leave, if I can. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Arknight Zots saying, if your base is anything other than a tier 1 cube, you're a tryhard sweat lord, says the guy who goes and destroys our tier 1 cube. This guy over here. The guy who decides to go and raid our tier 1 cube. Is that because he, he struggles with raiding? He doesn't, doesn't know how to raid properly? So you only raids people in tier 1? Is that why he's saying that? Bonus points if you mix two different building materials? Yeah, that's kind of nice. I do like it when people do that, have that change of aesthetic. For example, that little hut that we were just blowing up, he's got the uh, the stone brick foundations, but the insulated wood walls. It looked really nice. I do like when people mix the materials. It looks nice. All the way up. Well, I'm waiting to see what Ark Knight's next uh, comment is. <laughs> I might I might throw my hat in the ring in this conversation. Indeed, it adds variety. Yeah, it just looks nice when you have it not just be all monochrome, like all one style, one type. But it takes a it takes a discerning eye to be able to make like, to actually pull it off using multiple materials. It's quite difficult to do if you're playing with the base stuff. Surely he speaks in jest. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Pop them back through. They also leave walls facing different directions so people can put bombs on them. Ah, yes. <laughs> but don't do that. Now, I'm really curious where Zot's house is. He is a level 60. I imagine he's in full tier 3. I'd be surprised if he wasn't in a tier 3 base. 
But I do want to find out where he is, because he's he's currently our one and only target. Because he raided us. No one else has. <laughs> Ooh, Gosu is just <laughs> icing him hard there. Well, that's a pretty that's a pretty good burn. That's a, that's a frostbite burn right there. That's oh, that's, that's such a cold comment. It stings. Running away with all of his loot. I can't believe it. This guy talks a big game, but runs when he's when he's uh, up against the wall. Yeah, you can see our base floating there. It's not a real hidden base, but it's fine. We weren't aiming for that. Up here. That's the daisies. Let's see if we can get some hide. These guys should be respawned. There we go. Bonk. Bonk. Where are you running to? Not enough stamina. No. Anything good? I'll take all that. Uh, I don't need this. You can't change things in your hand if you have it equipped, which is always a little annoying. You, know. you can tell if Zontz is mostly solo or if it's a big clan. I don't know. I've only seen one person in eels so far, and it's him. So I can only assume it's only one person so far. I heard someone. Oh, he's in. He's in the wall. Get him. Ow. Oh, it's an armor of three. Whoa. Leave. We're gonna leave him there. Armor 3 is actually worth us grabbing. Hmm. We only have we've got an armor two, I think. Currently. You think you can if you start from the item in hand and drag it and replace it? Maybe. Ah, we got some separate legs. Excellent. <laughs> Just what I was looking for, actually. This dump chest and crevice. Okay. I'll unload this stuff. Uh, legs get ground up? Yeah, legs get ground up. Grind up legs. Uh, this broken piece of piece. Go ahead and squish this. We'll go ahead and cook this with the wood that I don't have on hand. We'll do a coal run in a moment here. We're hide running. Up off the icker that we got on hand. We'll do what? Two stacks. One, two, one, two. We can get a thousand going. Craft a thousand. A chemical base. Perfect. Don't tan all the hides. Capturing your armor, then set about making potions. We'll carry some of the hides. Good call. Oh, we got plenty here. All right, the medium padding. Oh yeah, we need thick. That's right. We need thick hides. That's right. That's right. Uh, we'll leave the armor too here. That's fine. Me and one guy defending against like eight people and everyone quitting. Ah, oh, it's the other server they were on. I was wondering if he was giving us information about that he's uh, part of a duo team. Nope. We've got a Defari and an Orheimer. We'll just take the Defari here. Uh, we've got some twine. I know we have more twine somewhere, right? We have a huge pile of it somewhere. Not. Do you have a wheel to break uh, in the next armor? No, we have to go get a wheel of pain set up. That's why I haven't, uh, haven't started on that project yet. Otherwise, I'd go for him. Alright, the improved tanner stable. Get you on this with the wine that I do have. Should work on making some thick. Uh, we have three twine in here. Where's the rest of my twine? I thought I had a bunch of twine. I guess not. Well, that's fine. We have the steel stickle for this. That's sort of. Alright, let's go ahead and get a bunch of fiber to make a bunch of twine. Let's 
start walking. And while we're walking, let's go ahead and blast out a bunch. And we'll grab one. But yeah, we're going to need to get a, a Wheel of Pain up and online. And we're going to want to get... Honestly, we'd like to get the second tier Wheel of Pain if we can. Dude, why am I over-encumbered? No, it's all the, all the Titan I've got on me. But yeah, we want to get a tier 2 Wheel of Pain online. Because we can get four of them working on it at the same... We can train four at the same time. Which will be useful because we can just start churning out Leanne's if we want. Because we're right next to Leanne's watch. But we're also going to need a ridiculous amount of bricks. So we might as well grab this brick while we're here. Grabbing all this stone. Yeah, we'll go on a proper stone and wood run in a moment here. Let's only get everything else sorted first. Try and get ourselves a better set of armor. Or at least closer to having a full set. If we can. Close that door. Alright. You. You sir, take this. You sir, do that. And work on that. Okay, so we need, definitely still need way more hide. <laughs> I'm not even close to not having enough. Need way more hide. Green Reaper. Bunch of handfuls of bugs. We could do to get some oil. But if we put fish traps down, we become a target pretty quick, usually. Uh, let's go drop this off. Nothing else I want to use it for, really. Uh, we can drop off all these seeds. Get that pressed into oil. Go ahead and get this going. I need to get you making iron, since our blacksmith is making the steel. That'll be important. Let's go ahead and dismantle you. And our compost is going to be nice and full now. Let's... It's off. A bunch of bees. I'm really gonna have to go and do some proper organization at some point. I'm just gonna keep leaving things in here for now. Can't be bothered to clean it up. I need some more wood. Actually, let's do okay. Let's do a coal and stone run. Yeah. Coal and stone our highest priority right now. I'm not sure. It'll definitely help. Hey, do we want to do grit next for more stamina or more health? We're not necessarily dying much. We're struggling with running around. Let's work, let's work on getting our stamina up another five points, and then we'll go and do health. And we'll max that health after. Capture armor before he responds, if he hasn't already. I think he might have already respawned. I didn't see him when I was down. Oh, no, there he is. Right there. Yeah, we can get a basic wheel of pain. They don't take too long to... To convert. We can go and do a quick add-on. Okay. Let's see here. So we should have a tier 3 truncheon. Oh, hold on. There's some twine in here. Okay, fine. Where's that truncheon? Alright. Truncheon. I don't know what add-on is on here. I'm assuming it's a concussive one, but I have no idea. Let's just take this meat out. Put it in here, and we'll start making some spicy food soon. Is there a bench for Gossamer? No. Letting the letting a new guy know. All right, so we got this. So we got the truncheon. We've got the rawhide bindings. We just need the wheel, which is 50 iron. We dropped all of our iron off, right? No, no, we didn't. Okay, so we need 50 iron. We need more twine than we currently have, so we'll have to go and grab some twine. That's that twine. Okay. Uh, we need wood and stone, is that right? What do we need for this? Companions. If we want to go this one, we need shape wood, iron reinforcements, brick. Now we're going with the basic one, just wood and stone. Just some wood and stone. Easy peasy. We're going to have some wood, we're going to have some stone, and we'll just build a quick little uh, 
conversion thing down here. We'll get our intern wheel up and online. Wood. You get so much wood per hit with this tool, it's nuts. I mean, we are at the uh, ex uh, expedited rate as well. Super fast rate right now. Funcom implemented after all the nonsense that happened with the bugs at the launch of the Age of, Age of War. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get a sandstone floor set up here. And crafting stations. Do I still have enough stone? I do. Center. You grab you. Oh, is he coming to us already? How convenient. You see this? I'm building your. St <laughs> I'm building your desk. We'll be putting you behind the desk in a moment, here, buddy. Oh my good gracious! We do so much damage. It's insane. with me, buddy. Go. Uh, I don't have any gruel on hand, so we'll just we'll just chuck him my meat for now. Chuck him my my dinner. That's fine. Okay, so we need more stone. I think it was. Make the walls. Grab some quick stone. We can have him just working on the outside. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm so, I'm so sorry, left hand. Luke, you're right. Let me go get this guy uh, set up here, and we will absolutely do this. Let me just go and get this guy uh, nice and tucked away inside a house. Let me just put him in a house here real quick. You're absolutely right, left hand. Luke, I'm so sorry I forgot about that. I got distracted. Mostly because it's all the spiders. You're absolutely right. It's an, it's an important captain log. We definitely need to do this one. Much has happened. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Janus is pretty angry. I'm sure he'll spawn up here in a second, but how's it going? Oh, I was just going and getting some stone to put it around there. You literally showed up at the right time. I just put him in there. Oh, jeez, why is she aggressive? What's going on with this? Ow. Ow. That was rude. Why'd you hit me? That's fine. No big deal. You can't hit us. Uh, raid window's ended, so we can hang out in here with no problems. It was a, kind of a rude neighborly welcome. She could delete him by pulling him out if she wanted to, but, you know. Wait, steal your stuff? Well, I mean, if you attack me like that, then yeah. Let's see. We don't want to go out with all of our cool stuff. Is there a good box? I think it might have been an accidental hit, to be honest, but it, takes, it took a lot of damage. We took a lot of damage from that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was planning on it. I was just going to put it up, but then you hit me, so I decided to run and not lose all the uh, stone and wood I'd picked up. Ah, and there's Ark Knight gloating about destroying my Tier 1 house. Okay, yeah, so they're still outside. And that was her actually attacking. Why are you being so aggressive? I, ju I just got up here. I'm barely at tier 2. I'm not even level 60 yet. Yeah, so uh, seeing the those lights, the purple and the red um, slash attacks, don't come from thralls. They only come from players. So that's how we know for sure she was the one that was attacking. Not anyone else. Makes that nice and clear and easy. Yeah. 
He took all I had in quotes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I don't know if I trust you. I keep getting I keep getting attacked every time I try and go outside. Uh, but yes, I, I don't have a named armor thrall. I've got a tier one. I've got a spare. <laughs> I've got two tier ones. That's why I'm trying to get that tier three. Yeah, I kind of want to go back out there, but I also carrying these two. I don't want to lose those. So, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll drop... I guess we're just... We'll, we'll go out there without anything on. Except the construction hammer. And the stone. And whatnot. We can do that. And we'll go ahead and we'll take off our armor as well. There's no point in losing this. If she wants to be aggressive. And so we can pop out, we can build the thing, and then run away. And if she comes inside, she comes inside. Like, she shows up right as I'm trying to build this thing. Goodness. But I just wanted to make sure we didn't lose all of our stuff, so I thought the best thing to do, and did seem to be the case, was to run, hide. I don't know if she's still around or not. I was hoping we could be cordial. I still think that initial attack was probably an accident, but the second attack afterwards, right? That makes me suspicious. Ah, we don't need to make this two stories. It's not necessary. Can just box this thing in. If she actually swings by right now, I would not. I would feel zero remorse of accidentally entombing her in here. Oh, where's the door? We don't need a door. He can just sit. Uh, we need even more food though. Same thing. I get back to my base from Scout and I'll let she has now. We'll see. Oh, okay, so who, what clan is Valkyrie in, since they are aggressive to us? Valkyrie is part of Clan Fastic. We've not found them yet, so we don't know where they are. Um, oh my goodness, left hand Luke. Wow, I've been power leveling, man. Let's see. Rafiki's still low level as well. Just drunk. Uh, Nostra um... Nostradamus was kind to us. And then, I don't remember who it was part of Border Control we ran into <laughs> yesterday when they were out in force. I don't know if we have good terms with them yet. That's how you used to play Rust. Naked farming build. If you die, it's no big loss. I mean, yeah, it's essentially what it is. Well, we don't have enough thick hide to be able to rebuild our Kombujan armor. Right? We, we don't have enough thick hide for it. But since we ha don't have enough thick hide... Right? It's it's worth us going out there without any armor on. Alright. Let's go ahead and do uh if I had what I needed to rebuild, then I wouldn't mind. But I don't. But what we need to do is go and get a do a run for wood and for coal and stone. Let's go do that next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a I've always wanted to try doing this, so we're going to try doing this. And luckily we have that hatchet we built earlier, so I don't have to take my... Where'd I put that hatchet? Where... Wait a second. Where'd I put that other hatchet? I made a hatchet and I put it somewhere. Hatchet. Reaper. Where... What box did I put the hatchet in? I made a steel hatchet at one point, and I put it in a box. Oh, I think I put it in this box, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. Nice. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go running around with this. Let me get this coat. This. We'll go pick up coal, so it won't matter in the long run. Let me get that cooking. Man, does that make a break. Jeez. Uh, there's all this meat in here. We'll take another stack out of this. Make more. 
We'll need to get that for the uh, for our friend outside. All right. Well, he's in the box now. But... That's how you prefer to play too. Not to fight, but to serve. Like, gather resources, uh, even in PvP, it suits you. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I want to... Like, I'm fine with random PvP combat. It's just that I don't want to engage in a, in a fight that I'm not going to win. You know? Like, or, like, I have zero chance of winning. She could two-shot us. What the... What's this Nordheimer archer doing up here? I don't know. Just wandered upstairs. Interesting. Anyway, so now she sees this base and she sees that base, so she clearly knows this is the main base. But that'll only be for now. We'll eventually move up there. We'll eventually move up there. But if she wants to go and raid us, she can easily do so. It's tier 4, so it's, I guess it's, what, 5 bombs? Or whatever to take it down? Um, let's go head off this way first. Let's go grab some coal, and then we'll, come, we'll harvest on our way back. We'll harvest on our way back, but... We we'll also need to pick up some more. Um, oh, we can get iron here too. Excellent. Look at that. We'll grab some bark and resin. Grab some iron. All right. You can't use the basic armor bench for epic equipment. You need at least an improved armor bench. See, Valkyrie, I'm already ahead of you. I got this covered. I got it covered. I wonder if Valkyrie's trying to be nice about, uh, about accidentally hitting me, and that's why they offered... Oh, I wonder if they're trying to atone for, for hitting us. That's why they're offering the... Uh, oh my goodness, look at how much iron there is here. This is crazy. We're almost at 4k iron with just a steel pick. We're not even using a star metal pick on this thing. Yeah, get 4k iron out of this. That's nuts. It's four stacks of iron. And going. Yeah, I wonder if that's a... Uh, you know, to, to kind of... Level the playing field after attacking us. Yeah, we need to level up. That's the big thing. We need to level up and get decent armor. We'll have to go and unlock Silent Legion armor at some point, too. Yeah, there's a cult. Uh, I don't know if we'll be actually be able to survive in a single hit since we have no armor on. We survived, we, we mitigated 33% of the damage that was coming in. Um, right? We, because of the armor we... Well, actually, our normal armor is 33. We might have only had, like, 27 or something, because we didn't have a proper helmet. Hmm. Right here, we don't have as much wood as I thought we were going to be getting down here. But then again, we're not harvesting as much as I thought. Wait, who's building there? Who built that? That's new. That wasn't there yesterday. It is glowing like no one's business. Let's we'll go check out what that is. Plus a little hovel down there, but that one's already been broken into. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't have. I have no weapons on me. Probably should have kept a weapon of some kind on me. Make some sort of weapon. Uh, we're just going to have to ignore this deer. We're just going to ignore the elk in the meantime. <laughs> it's fine. You know, we're too busy harvesting. We're, we're deforesting this entire region. And the guardian of the forest wants to fight us. But we're just going to keep on lopping down trees instead. Make a stone weapon? True, we can make a stone weapon. Good point. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a stone weapon on hand. Let's go ahead and get the... Fine. Or twine. Alright. Bam. Ow. 
Deer's on me. The deer won't give it a rest. Alright, Elk. Wow, we do so little damage in comparison. <laughs> Having proper weapons is really important, huh? That's okay. We can at least take this down. We'll get some hide out of it, but I didn't bring a skinning knife because I didn't plan on doing doing any fighting. Oh, we got an elk head. Nice. All right, let's go get that coal. It's a weird question. If you use your fists, is the damage they do strength based or agility based? They are strength based. So right now, if we actually look at our stats, you can see that our damage is five damage because our damage is from strength and from our weapon. So your fists do three damage, but our strength bonus is giving us an extra two. If I take out our Defari weapon here, Defari Axe, you'll see the weapon is eight and our strength bonus is four. For a total of 12. Did I mine that coal? Where'd it go? I, I saw there was coal here. Yeah, I did mine it, okay. I'm like, wait a second, where'd it go? Let's go over here and let's go grab all the stone on our way back. Whole host is dead. We got enough. We got enough of the coal, so we'll be fine. And with this, we should be able to make plenty of brick, and then that brick will turn to um, hardened brick. And then with the hardened brick steel reinforcements and all the shape we're going to be making because the steel reinforcements are kind of fine on their own right now we're pretty caught up with everything we need there we have plenty of iron that we made last stream uh plenty of iron reinforcements we made last stream too but you know, uh, those we're kind of holding on to for potential other builds i think we should swap that on over there and speed up the steel reinforcement creation we'll see where it is with making steel reinforcements when we get back but we're going to want, what, probably two stacks of steel reinforcements before you can start thinking about starting our build. What we're going to want to do on that build there is we're going to delete everything that's up there. Uh, we'll then go ahead and we'll place the four corners. Or actually, we'll just outline the entire base in tier three. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put a one high fence on that tier three wall. And that'll be our starting, our starting point. And then after that, we can construct whatever we want inside. So we don't have to keep it being a square. We can put in some, like, cool circular tower or something, which I'm thinking we might do, maybe. Have a square wall, but a circle tower. That'd be kind of cool. Do something like that. But the main limiting factor is going to be the steel, I believe. Because it's pretty easy to make stone. But we only have one tier three blacksmith. So that makes it tough. Thirteen thousand and camp. I don't remember this one being here. <laughs> Did I build while that was there? I might have. What? Uh, what clan is Toasty? Toasty's in border control. Ah, okay. <laughs> they try and keep people that are below level, like below level fifty, go do their own thing. Well, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. The construction goes through the bricks very quickly, though. The materials are easier to farm, but the furnaces will need to stay busy. Yeah, we're going to need to get... We'll probably put both of these furnaces right here on brick construction. And what we're likely going to end up doing is have one be bricks and one be hardened bricks as they construct. That's probably how we'll have this break down. But yeah, it, we need more. Of, we need a lot of them, but the the construction time just requires a lot of furnaces. It's true. Let's go ahead and grab meat. Like that. Perfect. There go. All right. We need to give left hand Luke a captain's log. We have not done that. We got distracted and then distracted again and distracted again. <laughs> we could do that for him. Let's get a captain's log going here. It's been too long. Uh, let's get all of this in here for now. 
Now we can actually stack this all the way up, it's fine. Because it's 10 per 1. That'll be fine. And in here we'll let that continue to be wood for right now. Ah, no, we really should swap this out to coal. If you have to coal. Five hours is how much we got, so yeah, that really shouldn't do anything else. That. Construct iron, I'll take the steel, go for it. So we have iron and we got iron and stone being made. And then let's go ahead and make a bunch of iron shaped wood. Right back. This is shaped wood. There we go. All right, perfect. And we'll go ahead and we can get this hide turned. That's fine. Uh, the this is an artisan table. We can go put that helmet. Uh, helmet. We can put the head in here. Fine. Extra stone. And perfect. Okay. Rest will just dump for now. Dump the rest out of our inventory, and we'll put it in where it needs to go later. All right. Excellent. Yeah. So we got that tier one armor in here. Tier two there. And brick. We have plenty of iron, so we might actually convert over from doing iron to the hardened brick in a moment here. Keep that going. Um, let's see. So we've gotten 370 steel reinforcements produced so far here. How much does it take for this? Reinforced stone. 15, 4, and 3. Okay. Okay. Alright. 15, 4, and 3. So, the hardened brick, you're right, it does require a lot of it. The steel is a slow one. So, we can actually put down 100 pieces so far. Because we now have 300 steel reinforcements in the blacksmiths. We have an extra 170 in our boxes. So we're nearing 600, so we can put almost 200 down. 200, we need 800 shaped wood, which you have plenty of shaped wood. So the hardened brick is what we're waiting on. Do that. Yeah, captain's lock. Okay, let's get the... Let's start working on hardened brick, and then let's get the captain's lock done. Yeah. Yeah, because we have 180, actually. We have 180. And do we have any in here? No, not in here. Not in here. Hey, Mushashi. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Let's go ahead and we're going to take what brick we do have. We're going to take all this iron stone out for now. We'll put it in the box instead. We're going to go and get the stone brick going for hardened brick. And we'll just dump all this in here for now. I'll take the iron. It's fine. Lost the iron in here. And put that after. So, dun dun dun. Perfect. Drop that off. Yeah, we almost have 600. So, we can actually get, probably get that building going now if we want. We can go and start the build now. We can't quite get it all the way done because we couldn't blow up that one section, but we can start getting the, the flooring in, which would be pretty good. Alright. The long awaited captain's log. Captain's log. Stardate unknown. We began our day as a sad day. Spawning up here in our northern territory. The northern house. One we had built as a decoy and as a placeholder for our brand new castle. Unfortunately, that meant that our own home, the old home, was decimated. And when we ran back there from the desert, we found it in ruins. However, however... He did not find our stash, our stash that held all of the materials required to build this two, tier 2 building, plus a tier 2 bunker as well. Due to his foolishness, we weren't pushed back too far, and thus really spurred our way, kicked us in the rear for sure, to move on to greener pastures. And now with these greener pastures all around us, here in the highlands, we began building a bunker. 
But before we were able to do that, we had to deal with a with a crash. A server crash. <laughs> but we built the bunker, we've built our new base, at least to start off with, to build the final components required to build the true castle upon the pillar. This is the new job. This is our new building project. I want to make sure it is excellent. Not pat ha not haphazardly built. And not built in a way that looks, uh, well, boxy. So let us continue on our journey. And let us, wow, he's got plenty of food. Let us continue on our journey. And let us see what we can, what is in store for us. As we build in this brand new territory. And blog. So luckily, this guy, actually, we got plenty of food for him. So he's fine. <laughs> get that covered up. So that's all done. Uh, we'll take this out of here. We'll put this where it belongs. Yeah, so if we can get a bunch of hardened brick going, we're pretty much good to go. So hardened brick is now going to be our main limiting factor. Just because we haven't been working on building it at all. It's been a non-issue. I think we have like eight. <laughs> we have eight of that brick lying around somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and let's actually make a build chest, like a dedicated build chest, yeah? We could really use a dedicated build chest. Yeah, there's eight brick. <laughs> That's not going to do us much good, huh? Let's actually make a dedicated build chest, and we'll do a, an emergency dump chest. Yeah, because we have actual brick in here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to make a dedicated build chest here. Lock it up. We build. Yep. Build. Oh my goodness. Build. Drop everything in here. We'll take the brick that we've got right now. Get this put in to be converted. There we go. Get plenty of time on that. So we have 32, which is two pieces of stone. So this, this is actually going to take a long time. You were not kidding, Rick. This is actually going to take a long time. I underestimated. I underestimated it. That's that's fine. We'll be okay. So iron. Steel. We don't really need a steel fire for anything else, do we? Um, let's see here. Let's go and take a look at the things we can craft here. So we want to be, we want to get ourselves set up. So let's get the yellow lotus potion going. So we want that, and we also, not only do we want to build chest, actually let's also instruct ourselves. Get this bad boy up. It's going to be a tool chest. <laughs> not a tool chest. It's going to be a tool chest. And this and be our um, emergency dump chest, I guess. Eh, we should make another one. We can make more chests, that's fine. We'll make an emergency dump chest right here. Put that down. Yep. This will be our junk chest. Dump everything there. Perhaps save some of the consolidate in with the, uh, leave some consolidate in with the raw stone. So it'll make that without the intervention. Uh, yeah, we can do it when we're like about to sign out, but at least for right now, it makes sense to kind of have them all up and where it is. Right? Having them set up this way so we can have as much brick produced as possible. But yeah, if, we, if we're going to log out, we'll definitely want to take like two stacks of these, shove them in there, and we should be good to go. Alright, so that's done. We have tool chests, we can go ahead and dump tools in here. Let's take everything out of here. Tool chest. Um, that's a tool, that's a tool. We'll, we'll classify that as a tool. Classify our other armories as a tool as well. Let's go ahead and put some armor on. The sickle. Let's go ahead and put our Defari axe in here. What's this? Bugs we'll sort out later. You, I'm not going to take you with me. 
We'll take momentum now. Construction hammer will keep the concentrated aloe for now. Okay. And this is for tools. That's a tool and that's a tool. And the rest of the stuff put in here for now. We'll move it later. Leave it there for now. So yeah, this actually has actual tools. A little bit of armor, but tools. Uh, this is going to be for construction. And then we can go ahead and pick up. Alright, we got a bunch of iron reinforcements coming in. Uh, let's actually stop this. And just make all the steel reinforcements first. And we'll do another round of those on top. Just so we can get all the steel reinforcements done that we can right now. Because again, the hardened brick is our only limiting factor. And as soon as the hardened brick is sorted, we go. If we get enough uh, background brick just lying around, we'll go ahead and we'll swap that one over to doing that instead of brick. Okay. All right. So what? What was I gonna do? <laughs> we jumped out here for a reason. I kidded myself up for a reason. We need more leather. Right. We need more leather. We also need more... I got the sickle out for a reason. Wine? Oh, lotus. Yes. Goodness, it's getting late. How can you tell? I'm forgetting things. Ah, I see. Let's go and get some yellow lotus. Good gracious. Okay. That's all the yellow lotus we'll ever need. We'll take all this. Might as well take everything that's in here. Well, uh, not the spoiled gruel. It's kind of not worth our time, but we'll take everything else that's in here. Won't hurt. Doesn't hurt to do. So don't need stone right now. We don't need a lot of wood right now. We can get more fiber. Now we can get the stamina potion going, which would be nice. We can run around further, run around longer. Uh, do we, did we level up? No, we didn't. I'm like, wait a second. We have 140 stamina, but I don't remember leveling up to that. I don't have the 140 we needed. What did we get? Okay. Let's go ahead and get the these. Does anyone need a yellow lotus? We got plenty. And the fact that it costs nothing but yellow lotus to get a stamina boost, that's pretty nice. We can get some reaper poison. That should be nice. We run around with some reaper poison. We dropped a lot of it when we were looting before. But we might as well go get some reaper poison going, so we'll just craft all that. Oh, let me in. <laughs> Don't you leave me out here. Get more shaped wood going. A thousand and change. Drop off the stone that we got. One three. Dump them in here. Once we have like three hundred, what one hundred and fifty is ten. Three hundred is twenty. Let's take a quick glance. How many do we need? If we can get the entire perimeter done, then I would be happy with us going and starting to convert from the tier one to tier three up here. But what do we need for that? How many? That's going to be nice once we actually build up here. I'm looking forward to it. Even if we get raided, we can make it look nice. And with having this decoy base down there and that one over there, which we'll just leave how they are, we'll move some stuff. We might even stash some stuff in those. So it might end up being that they blow up this one, but they leave that one alone. And we have uh, enough to rebuild down there. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 per line. Yikes. All right, so if we need 19 per line, let's just round up to 20 and make it easy. So 20 by 4. So we need 80. 80 by 15 uh, is... What, 1,200? Am I mathing that right? Open up a calculator. 15 times 80. Yeah, 1,200. That was right. 
Uh, so we need 1,200, and we don't even have close to that right now. Good gracious. <laughs> we need a lot of... We're okay. Bricks are definitely going to be a constraint for us, and that's just for the perimeter. That's just for us to line out the perimeter and nothing else. Yikes. Well, all right then. Um, it'll, that's going to have to be a problem for another day, unfortunately. We'll get that done today. Definitely not during this stream. I don't think we're going to get that much done. How much damage does this, get, this thing take? Not much at all. Well, again, this is just a little station that he's got set up here. We're going and grabbing Leanne, it looks like. Which is fine. We'll just annihilate it. Well, for some reason, I thought this was stone brick, not insulated wood floors. Huh. Okay. Alright, should we do a little bit of scouting? We can do a little bit of scouting. We're carrying most of our good stuff, but not all of our good stuff. Oh wait, I made the <laughs> I made the lotus potion, but I didn't drink it. We drink that real quick. I want that stamina so we can run around more freely. What would be nice is if we actually go and pick up some obelisks. Uh, we should probably do that. We've only got the frozen obelisk right now, so we can go and get the one of the dead mountains real quick, and then we can go and pick up sorcery. Maybe we do that. That'd be pretty good. We quick run for that. And uh, we don't have to worry about this base until next raid window, which unfortunately I think is going to get raided. I feel pretty confident we'll be raided. Um, use that. Let's go ahead and let's make 10 of these. One on you, and we're going to take what? Like three with us? Pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and we're just going to dump the rest off for now. Back to rest later. Golem crafting would be nice. I actually don't know where other... I, I'm not sure if there are... Uh, what is it? Bloodstone? Blood crystal? Rock golems around here? I don't know where the nearest one of those would be. I'm going to have to go hunt that down. Alright. Let's head out. Let's do some scouting and whatnot, because we've got everything currently working. Our carpenter's bench is working. I mean, our tannery's not working right now, but that's... it's fine. We have enough uh, steel fire right now for all the steel reinforcements we're going to need to make our build, so we don't really need any more tar at the moment. It would, it would be always good to keep that going. You really want to keep tar production going at all times if you can, because you need it for explosives, right? It's about 50 tar for one explosive. <laughs> what you need for the explosive jars but also i think it's too urgent these guys had a little base here too it's like they were layering room on a tier one building i don't know what they're doing about that that's odd does it not have a door that was blown into it doesn't have a door that was blown into oh the wall is, is anything left in here um uh, we've got some stuff i'll take the hide uh i'll take the wood why not we'll take what we can I mean, you know what? Actually, we're gonna take everything. We've got a dismantling bench. We can dismantle anything we want. We're going to we're gonna loot everything that we find in any bases that are broken into. We'll just scavenge out everything. Because we can just convert it. How's it going, Defari? Welcome. Or you don't know how to speedrun this game, or you choose to play slow on official servers. Uh um, I mean, I, I like to enjoy running around. But yeah, there's some definitely more efficient ways for me to, to build up everything. I know of most, but not all. Uh, I'm sure I wouldn't be as good as the the most practiced speedrunner. But I do enjoy kind of bumbling around. It's one of the things I like about this game, is that you can be super inefficient while having fun. You know? Because it should be go and do one thing, go and do another. We should, we should have multiple furnaces, we should have multiple uh, carpenter benches, we should have multiple blacksmiths. Is that way we could have one blacksmith making the iron reinforcements and another blacksmith converting them into steel reinforcements? We could greatly increase the rate at which we're doing stuff, but only one of each station except for the furnaces. 
I was just saying, because official servers are, <laughs> are garbage. Garbage with Zergs and hackers. Yeah, they can be. They can be. But are you level 60, right? Nope, not level 60 yet. We're level 40 something. No, we're level 42. Let's call it pass. I don't see any buildings here so far, but I think you should probably go all the way south and check. You have 18 levels left to max now. Uh, but Tafari, do you play on official servers? Do you play on a PvP? Or do you play on a private server? Do you play solo on your own? What do you like to play? So much iron here, it's crazy. Honestly, with all the iron here, I would never use a pick on all this iron. Instead, it, it's sorcery is like the only way to go for all this iron here. It's just not worth your time. It's so condensed, just might as well use the harvesting spell. Call it done. Gameplay play solo, but not unofficial. Uh, but not much official. Okay, so you do pop unofficial from time to time. Not really. Yeah. Alright, I didn't see anyone here. We could check the crag. We might as well. We're not too far from it. I mean, you used to be 60 on the server, but delete. Yeah, yeah, I deleted the character. Yep, I deleted our character so we could start from scratch again. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the grinds, but I only play PvE. Yeah, I enjoy the grinds. Well, one of the things I really like about PvP... Oh! They never look up. Players never look up. Players have a bad habit of not looking up. Who is that? That doesn't look like Valkyrie. It looks like someone else. Who's properly over-encumbered. Alright, now's our time to say hi. How's it going? They can't be aggressive. They're over-encumbered. If they drop stuff, we can run. If we want to. Ah, no, don't mind me. I'm just running around and exploring. He's dropped stuff. He's enough to run. I've now moved over to my hand on the dodge button. Give him a greetings. Wave at him. <laughs> One of the things I like about PvP is that because they blow up my base, it forces me to actually build a new, better, bigger, better base. Can you hear me? Or, or no? I know a lot of times when chatting with people, the voice chat's really low. I don't think he's leveled up all the way yet. Um, let me take a quick look here. There he is. He's 29. He's a ways off. Yeah, it looks like he just got up here. We'll give him this stuff. I don't need it. He's all on his own. He's not in a clan. But he's got a house up there, it looks like. Or someone else does. There we go. Go and hop out. Let him do his thing. We'll wait a hot second for him to reply if he wants to reply, and then we'll jump up and out. How's it going, stupid place? Thanks for the raid. Welcome. Hopefully your stream went well. 
Kill him? Nah, I'm not gonna kill him. He's he's not even level 30. He's not even level 30. That feels way too mean. Korra. Korra was playing yesterday. Oh my goodness, there's bricks in here. Oh my goodness, there's iron in here. There's <laughs> iron in here. Wait, buddy, where'd you go? I found a whole bunch of iron. I found some for you. Do you need some iron? I've got I've got some iron for you. I've got a special iron delivery. I'll give you like 3k iron. You want some? I don't know where he went. There he is. So we'll just go over. Oh, you have a friend request, really? Oh. Ah. Hey, King Diesel. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's go ahead and. Oh, those bricks are mine. Uh, actually, those those bricks are mine. I'll take those. Uh, you can have all this though. No. I'm just dumping in his box. His box is unlocked. I'm dumping in his box. Go. I don't know what I just put in there. What did I just put in there? Iron? No, no, that iron's still mine. You can have all this, though. Go. You can have it. I'm not walking around with it. I don't need it. But that 700 iron that I had, that I got from her earlier, I'm, I'm keeping that. That's mine. I'm keeping that. <laughs> I'm holding on to that. Uh, wanted to see what Conan was all about? Yeah. Normally you're doing Fallout stuff? Yeah, usually we're doing Fallout stuff. We'll be doing more Fallout stuff tomorrow. Let's go check out this base up here. Going on up here. Hey, yeah. Uh, stream went well. Lots of raid bosses dead across the characters and difficulties. Excellent. It's good to hear. It was indeed the iron bars that you accidentally placed. Yeah, what I did is I actually stopped and then just watched the stream replay, which is about 10 seconds, I think, behind. Oh, jeez. We we're about to... Well, let's go drink some water real quick. We're about to start dehydrating here. Yeah, now we're on good... Hopefully we're on good tar terms with our uh, Dane, right? Danny. I don't know exactly how they first their name out. Uh, we'll definitely go pick this up. I'm gonna take a little pelt with us. Use it. Let's check out this base. Doing some exploring. Whose is this? Yeah, he left his... Oh, Virus is up here. This this is another one of Virus's old bases. Oh, it's actually not blown through. Okay. Oh, it's a new... This Is, is this their new base? Have we found Virus again? I feel bad. I feel bad. We raided Virus yesterday. One of their bases we raided. Uh, we will absolutely not raid them immediately. We're going to give them some time to recover. I feel bad. I do not want to keep kicking them when they're down. I mean, we can't raid right now. The raid window's over. But uh, I still don't want to raid them anytime soon. They've got like at least a week before I want to mess with them again. Because that's just not... It's not fun. If you're just getting started and you don't know this game that well, you just keep getting knocked down. No fun. Who's this? This is another one of I keep 42. Keep my health at 42. Ooh, I'll take those. Bones, not so much, but the horns, I'll take those. We're a little low on horns. Stag is aggressive. Henry, Briars. Oh, Stag, stop it. Down, you. I'll be taking that hide. We're over encumbered again, but I mean, that's, that's part of the trip here. Is we're just going to be thinking. It's fine. Furnaces, cauldron, nothing else. Two blacksmith, what's up here? Carpenter's bench, another blacksmith. Mm. Yep, nothing else. Okay. All right, nothing to note. It's already been raided. But yeah, it looks like this. So I guess health for actually, how long ago is that? It was days ago. Days and days. <laughs> Anything in there? No, nothing in there. Hey, left hand Luke, thanks for this. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime here. I appreciate it. Thanks for the sub. That's awesome. Is that left hand Luke? Yeah, it is. Left hand Luke. Get in here. Get in here. But thanks for using your Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. Eight months. Oh man, you're one month off. 
Do you guys want to come get thralls? Come now? Sure. I'll grab something. I don't mind. We have one month off from nine. Almost have a Twitch baby. And a brand new badge. What? What? Uh, Ark Knights? I find that hard to believe. It's only been on for like a day. BS. Mercenaries is here. Okay. It's very cold. You need to be careful about what. Oh, yeah, actually, I really shouldn't be swimming here, should I? Yeah, it's extremely cold. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. We gotta go back. Oh, man, we went straight up to Frost. Oh, Frostbite. Nope. Swim away. Swim away quickly. But Mercenaries has a base here. Okay. Keep that in mind. Look at the map close to the den where the two Yogg Shrines are. On my way. Smiley face. Perfect. Okay. Right. So that means that they're this one here, which is Femboys. Was Valkyrie part of Femboys? I don't remember seeing that. Is that right? No, fat stick. Yeah, I was gonna say that can't be right. All right, we're gonna be come face to face with our attacker, uh, Arc Knight. What we're probably gonna want to do is stash our momentum somewhere here. Alright, take, take care, Diesel. Take care. I'm assuming you're listening to chat. Look at all this thing on here. Assuming you're still listening on chat. There's a open chest by the front gate. Ah, so it's first come, first serve, then I see. Okay. Yep, we'll see if we can get there in time. Maybe, maybe not. I was thinking we could take a quick pit stop and stash all of our stuff, but uh, maybe not. Uh, so we can go south to here. I don't know where Ark hangs out. I don't know where his or Ark Knight is. I'm not sure. But we should be able to get there pretty quick here. Though Ark Knight, I'm imagining, is a horse player, right? I imagine he's got a horse, right? He's got one. He seems like that kind of guy. Never seen him, never talked to him. Just he raided me. He just feels like that kind of guy. I really do prefer walking on foot, though. All right, we got a base in here, it looks like. Is that right? Can you build in the structure? I think you can. You ready to sandstone base? Oh, yeah. Wait, can you build here? No, it's default, okay. It's like, wait a second, why does it look like someone can build here? Yeah, he uh, he blew up our flotsam base. Whoa, hello. And then uh, earlier today he was like talking about a flot like people building tier one bases. Anyone building anything other than tier one bases or tryhards? I'm like this guy over here. Okay, no idea what that says. This in a language that I cannot read. So I am a monolinguist. I think I got myself turned around. Yeah, I did. Feels like. Oh, not China. China number one? Yeah. Well, it, it was an old decay timer. It's got 190 uh, something minutes on it. Or 190 something hours on it, rather. So, that they haven't been to that in over a week. So, I'm not worried. There was a furnace exposed? Was there? Oh, I missed it. That's okay, we can swing back around when we come back up. But how's it going, Dax Daxon? How are you doing today? Let's see who this is. Hello and welcome, Raiders! How's it going, Dad Gaming? How are you doing? Airy Zone? Nope. 
I don't know if this place has been raided or not yet. But it's old. We should be going to try and pick up the Thrall, because I know he's running straight there for it, but... I kind of want to see if this has been raided. It has not. Right? No. Okay. So area zone we can raid here. Alright, we'll come back to this one. Uh, we'll make that, we'll mark it as this. Ari zone. I misspelled it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But, dead game, uh, what game are you playing today? What was your game of choice? Yeah, let's scoot straight down. I don't know if we're going to be able to get past the tradeway here. But we'll run this way. We need to track down a bear at some point. I mean, if he has the same-ish tier base as you, uh, no progress. Yeah, I mean, if he has, a, if that's the case, then that's fine. But it, I don't, I feel like that wasn't the case. He's level sixty. He's level sixty when he rated us. And when you're level sixty, it just doesn't make sense for me to, like, yeah, if you you, can, you read someone when you're not level sixty, it's fine. We figure out who this was. Let's target. If you're not level 60 and you raid in others that aren't level 60, that makes sense. But if you're level 60, I mean, you can raid anyone you want to. Funnily enough, this is actually against arms. You're not allowed to do this. These are setups so that there's no good trebuchet locations to treb their wall. But you're actually not allowed to do that. It's actually against terms. Because it counts as, uh, uh, as land claim spam. What it counts as. You're technically not allowed to do that. I understand why they do it. It's not supposed to. It's a nice open flat space here. I do like this space. The tradeway is actually empty? What? The tradeway is never empty. It's bonkers. They're by the Yogg statues, right? Yeah. This is the side of this. This entire structure here. Uh, I went the wrong way around. Ooh, look at this place. I right, see so he's already gotten here. Hey! Oh, you monster. Oh, it's you. I see you. Why do you have to hit me so fast? Come on, man. Alright, so he's gonna keep following us. Doesn't do that much damage, which is a little surprising, to be honest here. Is he still on us? I think he has more stamina than us because he's level 60. And I've mentioned that earlier, so that's going to be our biggest weak point here. Is uh, since we're not level 60, we're going to be struggling with stamina. So stamina is going to be our hardest point. So we can just ring around the Rosie on this thing and he'll struggle to hit us. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Even though he's got more health than us, we can still take him down. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That was, bad. That was a mistake. Un unlock, unlock on him dead. We're probably dead here. Oh, no, I can ring around the Rosie more. Whoop. Quick drink. We'll get him with a spin move. We'll have to back off, though. You should pick on someone your level, man. Let's uh, spin around again. Luckily, this rock is our saving grace. I love this rock. It's an awkward rock, and with the stamina recovery rate that we have, we're pretty good. All right, we'll top off then. All right, he's fully topped. We'll go. And this rock is next. Whoop. We'll get him with that. I'm out of stamina again. This is the problem. If I had enough stamina, if I had a full stamina setup, if I had a full build, and I was like fully leveled, we'd be pretty good at this. So this, what this really shows is he's not that great at this game. Although he is only wearing steel armor. Or basic armor, I guess. Unless he's decided he likes that style more for some reason. I don't know why he would. Yeah, you can't walk over that, which is why I've been playing with that rock. Oh, he tried to get an attack in. That won't work. 
He's gonna have to do better than that. Here it goes. He has to go back up. Momentum's doing really well. Uh, if we didn't have the momentum, we'd be in a lot of trouble here. Man, he's just staying on us. We're slowly healing, though, which is nice. And the stamina potion, I think, is really giving us the edge that we needed. If I'm being honest. So that stamina potion has been a real lifesaver for us. He's got some corruption on him, which is interesting. Alright, he does wait for me to get fully out of stam. Uh, so I need to get better about my stamina usage. I really uh, really do a little too much. He does have star metal, though. He is playing with star metal. I am playing with a legendary weapon, though, so there's that. I just wish I was level 60. Because <laughs> if I had a full health pool of 700 health, um, and we actually had proper armor, we actually don't have our full kombujin set. We don't have a helmet on right now. He's not using lock on it seems. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Ah. We'll go back to bed. That's fine. We've got a second one. So the hard part is leveling up is the real issue. <laughs> I can tell you how to level to 60 pretty quickly. Um, I mean, the easiest way to get to level 60 would be farming, right? Was he stream sniping? Where'd he ran right into you? No, no, no. I don't, well, he did run straight to us, true. I felt like he wasn't stream sniping, at least... Because we were supposed to both be in that location. We both knew to be in that location, right? So it didn't feel like seems like for that reason, but yeah. Farm black ice. True, we could go do that right now. You ran into him? No, no, he, uh, I was coming from the backside and he was searching for the chests. Which is why I, I don't, I wouldn't accuse him of stream sniping. There's always the possibility, but I, I don't think he did. Especially with the way that I was talking about that rock. Um, I think he would have doing better about that, you know. I, I, it doesn't feel like it, you know. He killed you earlier, and he knew where you were. He was, uh, you were streaming. Eh, he could be stream sniping. I don't want to. I don't want to accuse anyone of stream sniping until it's very clear that they are. You know, I, I don't want to do that. I like to know for sure if that is the case. So we do need some steel in here. Where did I put all my steel? These bricks are rolling. He might be out to dry. <laughs> yeah, so we turned all that steel. I'm sure... There it is. I'm like, I'm sure we have more steel somewhere. We also need some leather. Volk's not talking to him, so... I don't know. But yeah, if we were level 60, I'm pretty sure I could have I could have beat him in that fight. Because you saw how I... I couldn't run I couldn't run away from him because I don't have as much stamina. So I couldn't outrun him. I don't know what the negatives of having being over encumbered is anymore, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm glad we dropped off all the uh that iron stone to that new guy, um, to Ardane. And he didn't get it, I'm glad that happened. Um But yeah, okay, we'll get working on this. Wait. That's the wrong one. That's what we want. <laughs> That's all we want. Rip momentum? Ah, no worries, no worries. We'll live. We'll live. We'll just uh, grab our other momentum, which is in a box somewhere. So he's gotten two momentums from us so far. <laughs> he's gotten two momentums. One from raiding us um, when we were offline. And now one from winning, a, uh, winning in a fight. He's picked up two momentums from us so far. You were dominating him. Uh, you were just doing full combo. Yeah, I need to stop doing full combo. The thing is, I do need to get more training, and this is one of the things I like about um, PvP is you got it. You got to get good. Get good. I mean, I played Dark Souls one, two, three, and Elden Ring. 
as well as a lot of other games that we like to play on hardcore difficulty. So there you go. Right? Um, and don't have Last Stand. Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, wait, what was the... He had a thing that popped up that was like a, a shield. He had a shield icon pop up when he was getting hit. I don't know what that was from. Was that Last Stand? But yeah, we have five points in Vitality and seven points in Grit. We just... <laughs> We just can't do anything. Oh, wait, so he last standed. When he hit below 50% health, you remove all negative debuffs and takes 95%. Oh, I attacked him when he was last standed. That was a mistake. Yeah, that, that would be an error. Let's get to this. Put 20. Oh, we have plenty in here already. That's fine. In here, upgrade both of these. Uh, we're going to need some armor. And unfortunately, we don't have that thick hide. Uh, so we're going to take all of this hide for now. Dump all of this in here. Get working on thick hide. Want to get that going? Oh, we might as well go ahead and swap out to the steel skinning knife. Good. And let's go ahead and get ourselves. Uh, we already have momentum, so don't have to worry about that. We can get another ease online. So that's good. Go from there. Would focus on your leveling. Yeah, we're gonna go level up right now. We're gonna go do a. Uh, we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna go and grab some. Um, black ice. By some, I mean a lot, but that means we're going to need to get armor, and we're going to need to get um, warming things. Things to keep us toasty. Could a spear be good? Spears are really good. Well, I don't know in the new meta. Spears were really good. But we don't have any weapons that are going to be better than momentum. Momentum is just by far, across the board, always going to be our best call. Uh, I wonder if we have enough oil. We should have enough oil. I put a whole stack of... Back stuff in there. We can go ahead and grab this. Just some steel. Steel. Because we just need two. Eight. So go ahead and get six. Or all of it. <laughs> or all of it. It's fine. Get that going. The steel reinforcements are getting pretty close too. That on there, we'll grab this. Best thing is PvP is chill, and you don't know how. Wait, the best thing in PvP is chill, and I don't know how, but you were so chill, bro. Thank you. Meanwhile, like, while I was chill, I was still uh, I still had the adrenaline going, so there was there was still a little bit going on over here. But uh, I'm I'm getting better at it. When we first started streaming this game. I had no chill in PvP. I struggled. I was like, my hands are shaking, you know, like I'm frantic. Uh, but there was a couple of points. One of them where I mentioned, oh, I need to, I need to stop auto locking him or um, lock on when I was rolling backwards, and I rolled backwards into a corner. That that was one little part there of panic. So I, I still need to work on it. I'm not quite there yet, but I need to work on it. All right, let's go ahead and get medium armor. Addings. Craft that. We need more twine. Should be easy enough. We should have a bunch of twine somewhere in here. Uh, the dump chest has a bunch of twine. Uh, has a bunch of, not twine, but fiber. There we go. Oh, ridiculous amount of fiber. Drop that off in here. We'll go ahead and drop this off in here. We'll go ahead and have turn that into twine. All right, we have enough thick hide for this. We don't have enough for our hat, though. That's the sand thing. I don't think we have enough horns. No more horns. And just don't let it get to your nerves. That's the thing, is you gotta stay calm, cool, and collected when you're doing that. Uh, which I you will find as you as you watch me play, you'll find I am the most calm, cool, and collective when I have terrain that I can play with. I am I'm I'm okay at a, at a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'm good at using terrain. I'm good at using terrain. But I'm okay at a one-on-one -on -one fight. So that's the the real the real strict uh, the real structure that I struggle with is the uh, straight up arena duel, which is why I need more practice. I definitely need more practice. So we won't be able to get a hat, so we'll have to make a medium hat. That's fine. Iron. Let's pull what like hundred out of this. Leave that in here. Go. Okay. Medium armor. We'll get a medium hat. Good. 
take bombs with you, maybe. Uh, if you go to the Frost Temple, then you can get Star Metal. Can't get Star Metal. I can't pick up Star Metal. Because Star Metal, as of the... Uh, as of Chapter 3 of the Age of Sorcery, Star Metal can only be broken down by a... Um, by a hardened steel pick. It's the only thing that can get it. Maybe it was the second chapter. I don't know. Sometime during the last age, during the Age of Sorcery, it was changed that you have to have a hardened steel pick to break star metal, to harvest it. You can blow it up all you want, but you need this or better. We don't have anything better. Although... No, we don't. No, do we? Did Yeah, we do. Hold on. I take that back. We do have... We do have a Black Blood Hatchet. That would work, right? Yeah, it's not too far out of reach physically. I mean, we it comes down to the fact that I did actually pass on a hardened steel pick that I could have kept. But yeah. So we could use the... I think we can use the Black Blood Hatchet. It's inefficient, but I can actually harvest it. So we might go do that. It might be what we do. How's this going? Slow and steady over here, but we'll get end up winning the race eventually. We just need this to be a thousand two hundred consolidated bricks. We're a ways out from that. We're a ways out. Kombujan armor. All right, we want the shoes. We want the gloves. We want the chest, and we want the. And then over here we need wine and fiber. So I'll take this wine, and I'm going to take this fiber. I'll make some reduction kits. Those. Or run uh, more easily. Grinder should be done by now. Well, for the most part. This in here. Uh, oh, I need something to cook it with. Maybe some spare wood. Yeah, we can grab spare wood. Alright, spare wood. It's up in here. Get that going. Now, here's the thing, is we're probably going to want to get some better meals. Exotic meals are good. Actually, we can do pork. We have to go and unlock pork. We don't have the pork recipe right now. We'd have to go and lock it. It's not too far to get the pork recipe, if I remember right. I think the pork recipe is either over here or over here. I don't remember which one it is. Death loot. A little bit of death loot. Killing baby dragon is kind of easy. Yeah, we could just do that, yeah. You can level your sorcery to get slow fall and fall down in the pit and learn the Dragonbone Armor. You can't learn Dragonbone Armor until you're level 60. I've tried that before. I've tried it. You can't do it until you're level 60. Or you need to have star metal tools unlocked. It's one or the other. I don't remember which. But regardless, we can't do it yet. Regardless, we can't do it yet. I tried to do that last playthrough. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. So, unfortunately, can't do that. Ah, no worries. Oh, is it, okay, so it is Starman, level 55. Should be enough steak. We'll let the rest continue to go here. Uh, but yeah, plus 15 strength. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Bring that with us. We're losing apes. Yeah, those things were nerfed. Um, we could do brimstone. Again, I was talking earlier, we could just do a huge... If we just mined every single Brimstone Pillar in Brimstone Lake, we'd probably get almost there. If not all the way there. One or the other. Set. Alright, armor. Kits. Go. And set this up. Clothe our body. We don't want people to get uh, a heart attack from seeing our rock hard abs. Alright, done. Done. The, 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 the concentrated aloe potion was really nice. I don't remember how much that heals. But with how much we've gotten uh, of the concentrated, we might as well make it. One and a bunch of aloe. I don't think we actually have a lot of aloe on hand, do we? Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. We don't have any aloe on us. It's awkward. We have aloe leaves. We have at least one stack. We can keep up with that. 
yeah, we got we have aloe we got aloe seeds, so we're gonna have to go and get farming going. We should probably start that before we even leave. Uh, where's our building materials? Building materials. I need oh, I need brick. I need brick, don't I? It's a brick item, right? Uh, it's a brick item. Yeah, brick. Ugh, I can't do brick right now. Ah, I can't do brick right now. I need brick for everything else. All right, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. We'll get we'll get aloe another time. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Sort that out another time. All right, was there anything else we need before we left? Uh, we we'll want a torch, but we can pick that up on our way. Everything I need here, so that's fine. We should. Well, we can pick up a. Pick up hammers and whatnot as we go. Uh, yeah, let's let's take our black blood hatchet. Bedroll. Hmm. Uh, we'll we'll make a bedroll as we go. That's fine. But that's a good call. We should go to bedroll. We'll go grab a bedroll. We'll let's go skin something real quick. One bomb? Nah, there's no point in a bomb. There's zero points in bombs. Oh wait, no, yes. Uh, you know, I've got the black blood hatchet. I I need a bomb. You're right. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't need bombs. I can't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we can get some star metal, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Uh, do we have an explosive? I think we do. Grab two explosives. We'll bring two of them with us. Bring two bombs. Just in case we find a second one, or just in case the one I activate rolls down the hill and doesn't blow up what I want it to blow up. It's very inefficient using an actual exploding jar to harvest this, but I can't do explosive arrows yet. I'm not high enough level. An explosive arrow can open 10 meteors with one explosive powder? Yeah, they can. Uh, but the hard part is I'm not high enough level to learn it. Uh, if I go to weapons, and I go down to archery. Um, these specialized ones that we use for explosives require 49. We're not high enough level. Seven levels off. We could try and level up here and then go, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the journey. Done. Let's go ahead and nab one of these. Wham. Done. Go ahead and grab one of these. Bam. Done. Right, what is this? Just a place to heat up, I guess. From Jer. Okay. Jer made a little toasty, a little toasty shack. All right. uh, we need some twine. Yay! Some twine. Yeah, no, explosive errors are definitely the way to go. We just don't have the capacity to do it yet. We can later. This is just just in case we find it. We might as well be an opportunist, right? And have what we can. Doesn't hurt to do. All right, let's go ahead and get some twine going. A bedroll. Uh, hammer. We actually don't need this in our inventory. Don't mind me. I'm just auto walking here. Oof. That guy. Bare chest and everything. Goodness. Just keep on running through. Take that. I didn't take the iron, which I was aiming to go pick up as well, but that's okay. I ended up picking up... I think I picked up bones. Don't need the bones, but... Oh, this place has already been raided. I don't have enough fiber. Darn it. Uh, I need some fiber. Let's go grab some fiber. Oh, here we go. Fiber. Oh, my goodness. That Nordheimer hits like a train. Jeez. Come on, man. I just want to go check out that base real quick. What is this? Let's go ahead and just make a torch. Eat a spicy food to keep us toasty. They're all running back. We'll do the same. The torch gives us some heat. Spicy food gives us heat. And our armor gives us heat. The thing is, I don't know if we're going to be warm enough when we get to... I don't know if we have enough heat protection. Is a, is a thing I'm worried about. Farm the frost lotus? Yeah, frost lotus gives us a little, right? 
You have a black blood uh, axe, but is there a pick? Yes, there is a pick. Okay, I'm assuming this place is blown up. Is that, yet? Is that right? Who knows? It's got full health. I think there's something going on with that. Or just like, re like, regains full health for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Drink up. We're heating up and cooling down. Get this adventure going. A wolf? That's fine. Ow. Darn wolf. Yeah, try using the sickle on the frost lotus for XP. Yeah, we get a bunch off of that. But I just didn't think of it. It didn't cross my mind because we already had some frost lotus in our pockets. Uh, or in our chests from earlier. Now yeah, we've already been here. So I was just thinking, you know, we're fine. Because we already have uh, we already have what we need to go and start farming it ourselves. I think we need one more gray lotus, so we are gonna have to go into the uh, into the arena at some point. We're gonna have to go into the arena to get that at some point. Uh, I went a little too far straight here. We went up and around. Doesn't, I don't see anyone building up on the plateau, though. That's reassuring. We're going to have to figure out where Eel's base is at. Where Arknight is at. It'll be important knowledge. Just The whole reason being is that if he decides to raid us again, I would like to know where he is so we can counter-raid him. Important. I mean, we should counter-raid him anyway, since he already raided us once, but... Unfortunately, I'm a nice guy, so I do struggle with uh, holding grudges for a while. That's, it's, always, it's always a struggle. But, either way, we get to know where he's at. No one's built over here. I mean, I personally don't really like this territory. There's some black ice up there, we can see it. So I don't think I can go into... I think we're going to have to farm the black ice from around. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the... To go into the frost temple. I think it might be too hot for... Or too cold for us. I don't think it'll be hot enough. Ah, here's a build. Your spicy steak will be enough to survive up into the mountains or in the snow, even naked. Uh, you've seen... Uh, you spend much time with black ice and meteors. Okay. The main thing, though, is I don't know if it's going to be enough for us to... Holy. Place. I don't know if it's going to be enough for us to... Go into the temple, though. We'll find out who this is. Jealous something? Watch the replay there. Jealous Jen. Is this Jealous Jen's as well? This is Fat Stick! Wait a second! This is Fat Stick, and it's destroyed! Who is part of Fat Stick? Someone was part of Fat Stick. Uh, Valkyrie was part of Fat Stick, right? This place has been bombed. Jealous Jen is here. Wow, I totally misspelled that. <laughs> I totally whipped that one. That's fine, we'll fix it later. I don't want to stand on top of the middle of a pillar like out here in the open. We'll fix it later. Who's this? This is also Jealous Jen. Oh my goodness, look at that castle! Wow! It's amazing. Nothing to note in here, it looks like. So this must have been the starting point, and then moved out. From here to the to the huge castle up there. That's impressive. It's very beautiful. I love the I love the watchtowers up there. It's great. And yeah, we're not raiding that. No way. Although I wonder if they did a proper wall build. It's really tough to build walls when you're dealing with um, dealing with a non-flat surface. 
the wall is also made of sandstone, so it's not like it's really keeping mm -hmm. anyone out. It's one explosive way from knocking down the door. But a lot of people do struggle with making sure the walls hold. Oof, they got a handful of animals here. Tooth guards. Bill's Jen was on just six hours ago. Oh, well, looks like she did a good job. Oh, she did a good job, but I think this tree might be her bane. No, it's not close enough. That tree was almost close enough to be a problem for her. <laughs> that, that tree is almost close enough that you can just climb the tree and jump in. We're going to take the path here. I don't want to go all the way around and deal with all the animals. We'll take the path. Take the path to get up and in. What was it? Our last last playthrough we did, I think we ended up finding... Uh, what was it? it was a legendary field that gave us cold protection. It was hysterical. With the one, I was like, oh, we, if we can just get anything other than a shield, that'd be great. Finds a shield. Well, I guess we're going to go get some star metal. This time we're going to have to try and stay warm. Alright, the hard part is I do struggle with identifying black ice when we first get here, but we do need a little bit of normal ice too anyway. Once you see your first piece of black ice up there, it is. And then you, then you color correct with your eyes. And then you're good to go. So you're only barely cold now and haven't eaten your spicy food? It's true, yeah. I think this guy's a boss, right? He's a mini boss? Yeah, he is. He's only a. He's, yeah, uh, he's a mini boss. But, um. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. What the. Jeez! What did we loot from. Alright, well, so we got 516 demon blood. We've managed to pick up 56 silver and 24 gold. Uh, we've picked up 1, 2, 3 advanced weapon kits. I think I'm just going to de deconstruct those if we can. Oh, we got a bunch of oil. We got some alchemical base. This stuff's crazy. The corrupted guy? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and... Wait, building's not allowed here? Wild. No one's built a platform there. Doesn't look like they went far. That one had been corrupted? Yeah. No, those are good. We like those. The rest of these are just uh, regular black ice guys. Get him, goat. Oh! Yeah, so we're gonna go take that guy down. Uh, this isn't black ice, right? That's for the We're gonna go take down that golem. Wait a second. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, are you a mini boss? Nice. No, yeah, we're gonna go get that for the, uh, for the blood crystal. Oh wow, the levels are going very fast here. This is great. Doesn't attack. We come in and kill him. Unless I whip him. Do his attack. And down he goes. He's very sturdy. Oh, stay behind him. There we go. Give me that blood crystal. All very nice. And some silver. Nice. Got black ice from these guys. Black ice from here. Yeah, this is going really well. Even the plain ice is valuable for preservation boxes. Yeah, that's why we were going to pick up some of them. They were level 44. We leveled up twice already. Huge. Alright, we got more grit. We can run more, which is great like that. Uh, we'll go pick this up. We should go pick these guys up. We get horns from them. Uh, I guess sometimes we get horns from them. Let's continue along the path. Which the path goes... Wait a second. We're not going to fight the goats unless we have to. Yeah, we need to get preservation boxes soon. That's what we need black ice for. Also, regular ice is useful because we need it for iced tea when we finally unlock that recipe. Extremely cold. Okay, time to eat. Alright, now we have to rely on eating. We've got 23... I don't remember how long the 
bonus lasts. But we have 23 uses of, uh, 24 really, of the spicy foods. Keep us toasty on our journey. Let's keep on going. Yeah, so does anyone know what the actual negative, like, what the actual downside of being over-encumbered is now? Because with stamina, stamina regen used to be the main reason why over-encumbered is... Holy! Alright. Who's this? I mean, it's a cool pillar base, but... We could raid that. I mean, not right now. <laughs> not, not anytime soon, but... So this is not on raid. This is as Jadad Jadivs. Okay, he was on nine hours ago, so I feel comfortable just doing this right now. Edages. Right? As A-S-J-D-A. A-S-J-D-A. A-S... S A D A Oop. D A D That's your dad. Yeah, it's next to Oh, you have raided. Wait, that's a decay? No. Ah, it's a ah, it's a trap. He's trapped this. We have to see if we need to see if the door is free. Nope, the door's there. Go down. <laughs> nope. Nope, the door is here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't go up there. It's, it's a trapped roof. It's a oh, that's right, good. Crap should get in here. Uh it's a it's a trapped elevator. We do not want to go in there. This is rated at least. Poke our nose in here. Staples, though. Fireplace is cool. Alright, well, we got him on the map. Ah, perfect. The water run here, and I can go and get that fixed. Um, JD Beacon. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Rose. I appreciate it. Alright, we'll keep going up, and then we'll circle down. Okay, so he's there. Carefree bottom left corner of map by the obelisk. Oh, Carefree is down there? Who's part of Carefree? Who's part of Carefree? Ah, Squish is down there. Cool. Alright, that's good to know. The friendly is down there. We like him. That's black guys. Yeah, I didn't actually go all the way to the obelisk to grab that one yet. I need to go do that. Ow. Ow. Let's kill these guys real quick. There we go. Let's, uh... Can I not get this down here? Ow. We need to do that soon. Or ice. Black ice. There we go. I know you need to show me, but how does... Whoa. Reading chat at the wrong time. Still in combat. I thought the... Because sometimes the combat music lasts longer than it needs to. Regular ice one. Right, we're going to drop some of this ice. Um, Can you show me how a trapped elevator works? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So a trapped elevator is very interesting. You believe the trap involves placing a ramp piece overlaying the top of the elevator? And orient against the elevator. Yeah, so essentially what ends up happening, exa exactly what Mr. Rose is saying. So what ends up occurring is by the time you you put it so that there's a ramp that goes over the top of your elevator, so that when the elevator uh, when the elevator goes all the way up, the handle that you saw me redirect us to go back down is now hidden behind that ramp. And now that it's hidden behind the ramp, it's no longer interactable. You can't interact with it. Which means now that you've gotten to the top of the elevator, you can't do anything. You're just stuck there. 
Oh wow, someone actually built a, a way up. That's kind of nice. Who's this? Guide dude bros. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. So an intruder can't open the door, and they can't reach the handle, so they're just stuck in the elevator. It's sneaky? Yeah, you have to know what you're looking for to avoid getting hit by it. Alright, I think it's time for us to go down. But if we're going to do that, we're going to have to eat first to make sure we're not very cold. Yeah, we're far enough up. up. Let's go down. There might be someone who's further up here, but I don't mind if we miss them. We found what I care about. Let's go down here. The reason why I wanted to eat first to make sure we don't get extreme cold is because if we get ta if we take any damage when going down, we'll let go and we can't grab onto the walls again. Once you let go of the wall, you're not allowed to grab the wall again if you take damage. You can yeah, you can use explosions to free yourself, but also the, you might kill yourself using those explosions. You also have to have explosives on you at the time of doing it too. Uh, at the time of being trapped. We might, man, Frost Giants, I, normally I would be like, yeah, let's go kill those guys and level up. Mm, I don't know right now. They're kind of, they're kind of sturdy. I don't know if we can do it. Matt Stick has a little base here. Everyone's got little bases here. We should probably build a little home here. What's this? this? Air Free has one. They're all broken into. Looks funny. And unknown name. Okay. We have a vault here. Oh, good. Someone actually put together a um, an obel uh, no, no, let's say mac room. So that's good. We can grab this obelisk, and now we can teleport here whenever we want. And we now know there's a mac room. That's good. Also, a couple of health here. This is corruption. We don't have a good way to get rid of corruption right now. Get that sorted. Okay. And with that... Okay, is... Is grit... Or is endurance any good now? I'm gonna wait on that point. Is endurance any good now with how fast our health... Or our stamina regens? Those are going nicely? Yeah, they're going pretty well. But yeah, is... is is it worth even using? Like, 20% speed of stamina regen with the amount of stamina we already regen. Is it any good? Or, I wonder if higher armor is good now. Stamina back down, uh, come back so fast? I think not. That's what I'm thinking. Endurance seems pointless. It already recovers so quickly now. Yeah. During that, even during that fight with him, it just seemed it was going so quickly. We'll grab that. You know, by crawling, praying, and praying. All right. Um, I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Which is kind of obnoxious, because I always thought that the um, stout was never all that worth it. 20% more armor or 25% faster uh, stam regen. Yeah, 20, 20, is it really 20% more armor? Um, but no, no, it's 20% um, more armor of your current stamina. Here's the question. Is this of the amount of stamina in our stamina bar, or the amount of stamina we currently have filling the stamina bar? That's what I'm wondering. Who else uh, is in care for you that's on? I'm not sure. Uh, Squatch is the only one that I know of. I don't know. Oh, so the whole stamina bar? That's huge. 100% of the entire stamina bar? I mean, one, 100 would give you 20 extra armor. That's worth it. We're at forty percent damage reduction right now. I think that's worth more than the uh, faster stam regen. The wording suggests that it'll go down when you're out of breath. That's what I was wondering. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Current stamina. I don't want to rely on that, and I think that's going to mess with my my timings. So I'm going to go with endurance. We can always respect later, but I'm going to go with endurance. Can we climb in here. I can't remember. Yeah, we can climb. Uh, before we go do anything else in here, let's go put this bedroll down. Just in case we die. <laughs> Just in case things don't go so well. Yeah? Probably put one on this big rock here, because it's not flat. Building's still not allowed here? Yikes. How far back do I need to go? No contact there. Okay, we can go over here. 
Yeah, current stamina. I, I, if I had better stamina control, then sure. But during that fight, it was very clear I didn't. I did not have high quality stamina control. <laughs> it's constantly stamming myself out. I don't have any wood on me, do I? I do have wood on me. I don't have a construction hammer though. No, I do. Build me a piece of stand stone. Building's not allowed here. Jeez, how far back do I need to go? Also, who built this? Spicy boys. Nice. Oh. That didn't work out so well. No. There we go. No, oh, come on now. There we go. Man's already claimed. Built here. We can just do this small little structure here, maybe. A wall. Uh, I don't know if we have what we need to make a door. This back wall's not needed. Uh, ceiling. From here, and... Hello? Weird. I can't put a ceiling tile there? Alright. That's fine, I guess. Uh, we'll just make it a one-room thing. Yeah, I can't make a door. No twine. Do I have fiber? Not enough. I've got enough for four. <laughs> I need five. Alright, that's fine. We'll leave it busted open. It's fine. Um, however, we will grab some extra foundations here. The extra foundations will increase its duration. Oh, I got a couple hours. We've got a day and a half. Day and a half before that goes. All right, cool. So we've got a spot we can respawn at. Let's get to it. Um, we are currently okay. We need 14 levels, 13 and change. 13 and change levels, and then we will be good to go. Yeah, I feel pretty good after that fight with Arc Knight. I feel pretty good that if we get to level 60 and we had the same gear, I'm confident we could have beaten him. So I would have had a larger stamina pool, and I would have had a much larger health pool. Now I'm worried these guys will probably kill me very quickly. If they hit me. But I also wonder how hard it is to kill them. Uh oh. Yeah, they hit pretty hard, and they also make you cold when they hit you, which is quite brutal. Yeah, we gotta back off. That frostbite's gonna kill us. How long does frostbite last? Holy! Okay, now we're extremely cold, and now we're back to normal. <laughs> Jeez, that lasted a while. Let's go and scavenge around here. Just wanted to say, don't get hit by the giants. <laughs> yeah, the cold snap. Yeah, cold snap on him is brutal. I didn't realize how long it lasted. I was thinking we just run into the temple and start farming. We could try doing that. Oh, hang on a second. Now, who might you be? This is more of the same guy. Is this a building he was putting together for something? Is this a raid base? No, no. Doesn't look like a raid base. It's got a door on it. Peek inside. Yeah, it's got an airlock. Uh, it's totally empty. Uh, that makes no sense to me. Alright. 
Hold out your torch as well. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's why I made the torch. I just forgot about it because I didn't have it on my hotbar. Perfect. Cult of um, Kili. Kili? Okay. How long ago? Nine hours. Up some fiber here. We're gonna need the fiber if we're gonna want to be replenishing that torch. Weird. Weird build design. Okay. Alright, so cult of. Golly. Yeah, cult of Cali. Okay. Got Cult of Cali marked. That's good. I don't see any star metal down right now, unfortunately. I think we're out of luck on that. Alright. Let's see if we can run inside uh, and get to where all the black ice is and just clear out all the black ice. If we end up dying, we will figure it out. If we end up dying, we'll figure it out. Usually seek meteors on the ridge. Um, went on earlier. Makes sense. Farm the ice. Put bedroll first. Oh yeah, bedroll's down already. We already had the bedroll down. Bedroll's no longer in our inventory. The so bedroll's down, so if we end up dying, uh, we'll just have to run from here. But the hard part's going to be staying warm long enough to pick it all up. Look up the cliff walls too for meteors, or run from the sky sometimes and bed themselves there. Yeah, it's along um, this side here and over here. All along there. I'll go take a look. But first things first, let's see if we can run in here. Munch on that. Pull this out. We can get in here and get to safety. We have no desire to fight. We're only here to take your ice. Oh. Oh, you see that? We got a golem part. A crystalline guardian head. Oh, very nice. I'll be taking that. All right, see if we can go get ourselves leveled up here all the way. I don't know if there's going to be enough ice to do it, but there might be. If we can get to 60, that'd be amazing. But I don't know if there's going to be enough ice for all the way to 60. It's two levels. Skyfall Ridge, yeah. Hello, little crystal. You. Besides, all this black ice will be useful anyway. Actually, we don't really need this much since we're not building with it. The part where the dragon is? This warm area? Ah, okay. Starting to get less experience, or at least less percentage of our experience bar done for for swing. Level fifty. All right, perfect. Ten levels to go. Extreme cold. It's very cold over here. Oh no, it's just my food's uh, my food's bonus has ended. Just warming up, please. And now we're just in very cold. Level 51. Oh yeah, points are definitely going to Vitality. Uh, all of our remaining points go in Vitality. All of our remaining points are Vitality points. This, uh, the 10 Grit is good. The 10, or 10 Grit and 10 Strength is fine. Expertise at 20. We we're still doing farming. We can go do this one. So we have Resurgence, which is one time healing. Your health drops below 50%. That's nice and all. Just making sure we're not losing health here. Um, the other one is we heal more. We see 50% more healing from healing items. I don't know if Resurgence is any good. But I think I'm going to go with the faster healing, honestly. I'm not really played with Resurgence, but I think faster healing is better. Fast heal is good. Yeah, everyone in chat says fast heal. Yeah, I agree. I think it's the one to go for. Oh my goodness, we have a hundred more health than we used to have. Very nice. Alright, that's pretty much getting here. 
So now what? We have to wait. Almost leveled there too. Just don't take any hits from the boys? Yeah. <laughs> so long as you don't get hit by the boys, we'll be fine. Whoop. Good eat first, too. Right, which way is it coming? That way. Perfect. Up we go. You tend to take fast healer, which makes healing items more efficient. But in PvP, one has fewer opportunities to use such items uncontested. True. It's very true. And in which case, Resurgence might be pretty good. But it doesn't reactivate until your hit points hit full again. So you're going to have to heal again. So it's like an emergency quick heal. Obsidian? Uh, we don't have anything... Oh, I was just about to say. We don't have anything to keep ourselves cool. Uh, Zelda, what's in your inventory? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, all of this ice that I've got in my pockets? Oh, yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, you dingus, what are you talking about? An entire encumbrance volume of ice. Oh yeah, that ice. Yeah. Well that, okay. Okay. Let's see here. So uh, we need to get over here from the mob. So we can actually go. I guess we can go here, climb back up the ridge, and then go down his ladders, his stairs. How's it going, Rob How are you doing today? Hey, we gained a level nice. Perfect. Vitality. No, there uh is away from here. Is it up this way? Is this the one here? Right side of frost up the yeah? Okay. Up we go. The raw ash from the obsidian may prove valuable too. Yes, I need to get the raw ash, and I'd like to get more gold just in general. Oh, how did I miss this building? It's not a. That's not a small. Wow, I said. We like, in, in the construction industry, we call that a brick. Good gracious, what is this? See, I thought about making a very beautiful design, but in the end, I like squares. Who built this? Lianel. Lianel was raided. Hmm. Yeah, not even anti-climb. There's just nothing in here. It's just an altar. I'm not even going to put this on the map. It's not worth putting on the map. It's all foundations. Oops. Okay. Yeah, no anti-climb. There's nothing in there. Weird. Lionel, legendary, and very rarely named dancer. Oh, is it? Hmm. hmm. How's it going, Angry Kender? How are you doing today? Welcome. Hi, hi. Question, is the perk from survival the one being able to roll, run, dodge while over-encumbered with any limit? Or do you have a limit? No, there's no weight limit, but there is an inventory limit. There's no weight limit, but there's an inventory limit. You only have so many inventory slots, but you have infinite weight. Uh, it makes moving your base difficult at times because you'll have so many items that you want to bring with you that you can't actually take them all with you. Ah, oh, I forgot about this entrance. I thought we were going to go up and over and around. Now, this place looks like it's been raided, so I'm just going to ignore these buildings. I'm not going to eat any food because it's going to get hot as soon as I jump in here. Let's go ahead and swap out our food for ice. Or actually, we can swap out the for ice. It's fine. Alright, now we go find ourselves some obsidian. Attack! Attack! Wait, why are you hostile? Are those guys always hostile? Get some golden in the meantime. I didn't think these guys were always hostile. Are they just immediately hostile? You are! Why? I thought they weren't immediately hostile. I don't need the obsidian. Obsidian is just dead weight for us. 
We will go ahead and kill these guys as we're going through with something we need all the experience we can get. And the signs, they also give us some couple nice things here, too. Alright, whose base is this? Who built this thing? Minecraft. I don't know. I see. Unknown player. So, does it say unknown player when they've left the game? When they've, like, believed the game? Oh! Okay. Um, that's a thing. Who's this? Ult of, oh, she's here too? Oh no, I'm taking damage. Why am I taking, oh, anti-climb. Well, that's awkward. Um, climb this. Don't climb her tower, climb this. So Cult lives here too. Hmm. Extremely helpful. That's not good. Actually, we're thirsty. There we go. Thirst salt. We have Cult here as well. We'll just leave this Cult though. We know who it is. Hmm. Nice info. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, no problem. If you got any other questions about this game, please feel free. If I don't know the answer, someone else in chat probably will. We've got some very knowledgeable players here. Interesting. Some sort of super tower. Colt has a couple of really big builds. I'm curious, is anyone from Colt on right now? No. I mean, it's pretty late right now. It's understandable that most people are off. Left hand Luke's still going. We're going strong. All right, I haven't found. Oh, I was gonna say I haven't found any obsidian. I don't know why I haven't seen any yet. Go. Gold lotus. Up across the lava. Whoop. Ow. Unsuccessfully hop across the lava. There's a bunch of actually on the other side. Let's go back. Go back across the lava real quick. Whoop. Whoop. That was a successful jump. It's done. That's right, they don't take any damage from lava. Oh, no, they do. I thought they didn't. They take barely any, but I thought they didn't take... Huh. I thought they took none. Alright. Works for me. Unfortunately, we can't eat any of our food right now, because all of our food will keep us up. There's nothing we can do about that. There's a decent amount of experience coming out of this. Doesn't feel like it's as much as the uh, black ice, but then again, when we were hitting the black ice, they were in such a concentrated pile. We we're probably hitting like three or four nodes at a time. There are three golden rock noses in this area that you usually farm. Yeah, there's one to the south of here, or east of here. I don't know where the other ones are. I just know the one. Is unlocking all knowledge as possible? Yes, absolutely is. That's what you're wondering, because you're near level 60? Yes. However, you cannot unlock all knowledges with just leveling up. You need to acquire um, Fragments of Power. Fragments of Power, luckily, have been are no longer in like a ridiculous amount of crafting recipes. Uh, it used to be you'd need a lot of Fragments of Power, because Fragments of Power would be used in like end-game weapons, for example. But that's been removed, which is really good. So Fragments of Power are almost exclusively focused on learning. You found three of those? Yeah. Literally just use it like a potion. You use it like a potion and you get an additional point. Or three points? I think you get like three points for it. Is that right? Using fragment point. Ah, fragment of power is ten points. Thank you. Yeah, and you can get the tablet. You can turn in fragments of power to the archivist. If you go to the, the unnamed city and you go through this door here. Uh, there is a there's a wall with a whole bunch of scrolls that you can interact with if you have a fragment of power in hand, and you'll trade one fragment of power for a scroll for a knowledge scroll. Knowledge scrolls are random, and then you can use the knowledge scroll to permanently learn a pattern. One of those is the Tablet of Power, which lets you combine, which lets you combine five fragments of power, fifty knowledge points worth, into a Tablet of Power, sixty knowledge points worth. So it gives you a 20% return, which is pretty cool. 
but it's completely random. Venom infused daggers are your favorite in the vanilla game. Um, I've, I mean, the venom infused stuff's pretty good, but I would put my I put my hands up for uh, the good old venom infused axe. I love the axe. I'm just gonna poke my head down here real quick. I want to see if someone's built down here. Very cool. Start heating up. The hidden way. Gotta run down here. Alright. We don't need any of this obsidian, so we can just drop all this. I'm not gonna use it. I'm, I'm not gonna go to the... Uh, to the dungeon anytime soon. Just clean up my inventory a little bit here. Alright, is anyone built down here? This is so steep. Built down here. People like to build in this area. I'm curious, real quick. Just poke my head down here. Don't go into the snow from here. Turn around. Go. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna go um, around the main way down. But there's someone who built here last time we were on the server. I was curious if they're still here or not. Looks like they are not. Although at this point, we might as well just circle around and come up the uh, the other way. I'm already over here. More black ice out that area. Yeah. Go this way. Oh, I see what you mean, by the obelisk. Yeah, we need to go pick up the obelisk while we're here as well. We're gonna go grab some more obsidian. On the walkway over here. We just have to make sure we don't anger Benny Benny and Bob over here, the two saber tooths. <laughs> They're very aggressive. Oh, uh-oh, we aggroed them. Run. Run. <laughs> I don't need the obelisk. You rarely venture uh, inward that far. Oh, no, no. We're going to go to the obelisk because we need to pick that up. I want to go pick up the obelisk. And then on the other side of the obelisk, there's the... Um, there's that path that lets you get over to the dragon. The the baby... The baby and mama blue dragons. And there's some black ice in there, too. So we'll probably pick that up on our way. So do the circle. We cycle around everywhere. All right, we're level 54, so we only need five and change levels left. We're pretty close. There's almost 500 health. This feels so much better. It feels so much better. One of the rock noses is up at the top of the path. Yes, that's the one I normally end up farming. I don't know where the other ones are. Now, I say farm, but I mean, it's the one I go and I attack whenever I'm up here to get gold. It's the only one I know of. I don't know where the other one is. Yeah, from from your base is very close. Yeah, because the thing is, we'll continue on that circuit, and that's how we'll get back to base. Is going from the north. We'll circle all the way around. I'll guide you to where they are. Cool. Um, hopefully, it's ge on the general path to where we need to go uh, for getting to the obelisk. So my objective is the obelisk. Okay, one last question. All right, what you got? You killed Kronk and Scorpion bosses. At the bottom desert, are there weapons from legendary chests, end game weapons, or are they better weapons you get later on? So they're legendary weapons, which are generally speaking top tier weapons. However, it depends on what you want to wield. Depending on what your preferred like uh, weapon of choice is, there's there's better options. But yes, but they're random, which is really really tough. Because they're random, what you're gonna get in the box, you might not get what you want. I often get shields. For example, holy, that was how, how much gold was that? 25 gold for one swing. It's pretty good. This mace is the best. Yeah, momentum is just so good. So are these guys hostile too? No, just the other ones were. Oh, it's because we were closer to the. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go deal with this one obsidian rock nose here. Lie down, Rock Nose. Lie down. Perfect. Greetings, how many interns did you find today? Uh, one. We need to go pick up that intern when we get home. We only have one intern that we've been working on today. We got raided, so we lost everything. All these. I mean, hey, with all the raw ash, crystal, and gold that we're getting, this is still very much worth our time. Even though we're predominantly just doing this to level up. But the, the Rosh is great because we use that for potent compost. 
crystal is good because we're going to need that for explosives and for glass. And the uh, gold is good so we can get for all sorts of things. But predominantly out of the and for in, uh, to make end tier weapon uh, armor. End tier armor. You should be happy. This is what you signed up for? It's true. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we now have a... We, we now have an enemy. We have a nemesis. We actually fought him. We lost. But then again, he's level 60 and we're not. Oh, I whiffed that. <laughs> Luckily, the... Just the falling distance worked per perfectly fine for us. Grab that, that, and get up there. Not the bridge. Okay, we had to go the other way to get to the other one. All right, let me let me grab this uh, obsidian here first, since that is our top priority here, is to level up. Let me grab this real quick, and then we'll go track down that rock nose. Nemesis right. acquired. Time for full Conan Exiles mode. Well, the problem is we gotta go track down where he lives. I have no idea where uh, where the clan yields. Hides. Let's go find out where Clan Eel is hiding. If we can find them, we can raid them. Even if they raid our bases. This game's actually pretty easy to, to set up for raiding. It doesn't take that long to raid. It really doesn't. You know, we end up, you just kill one of these demonic creatures and you get hundreds of. Perfect. Maximum health plus an extra 100. Uh, you get hundreds of the... Um, uh, demon blood. And that's usually the main factor. But ice on this hot bar will keep him cool in this place? Yeah, so we just keep eating ice. We can't eat the food, though. The food will make us toasty. Alright, what level are we? We are 56. Four levels. Four levels to go. Alright, let's go back. Alright, um... Fix, continue to pull down. Alright, so where uh, where do we go from here? Would you like to know how the Sunday DD group went? Yeah, absolutely. What happened? Give me the rundown. Because you're planning on that crazy big bad evil guy. You could probably eat the food, then immediately use the cold uh, ice to counter. Oh yeah, you're right, probably could. Just one than the other. Follow the lava um, and look right. Oh, is this him? Yeah, that's him. Nice. Oh. And once. Nice. Okay, cool. So these two are actually very close to each other. Oh, they never got to the big bad evil guy fight. Ah, okay. Oop. Big jumps. Okay, so if we do that... Yeah, we do, it does override it and cool down instead. It's good. We get the sated bonus. We can heal a little faster. Okay. Where do we want to go next? We can go up in this way. I think I'm going to backtrack. Backtrack. I mean, if I told you not to go out earlier, follow the west wall from there. Go find the third. Okay, perfect. Follow the northwest wall from there. This is the Hinway so Northwest Wall from here. So, like, in this area? Like, in and around here? I'm not going to go track it down at this point. I want to focus on leveling, but... Is it up and over there? It's for future reference. Along the path your mouse traced? Yes. Okay, perfect. But not that quite far. Okay, so if it's not here, then it'll be closer to, like, this this zone here. So near where Colto is hanging. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, let's go and get the last of our levels here. We're just going to ignore these guys who want to attack us. Uh, unless they hit us first. Uh, we're going to have to get through this. Uh, just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. We'll get out of the noxious gas soon enough here. Jeez. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's awkward. My health is not doing so hot. Someone's built a base here. 
I'm also overheating. Don't do that. Uh, I can't. What? Bring. Thank you. Don't you stab me. We'll be fine. Bleeding right now. That's not good. I have no stamina. Awkward. He's got a bow. Stop sliding. Just start climbing. Oh no. This has a... Oh no. Awkward. Awkward. Super dark up here, though. Alright, so where was that other building? This building. Who built this? It's so dark. Who built this? Oh, my health. Okay. Am I even going the right way? I got myself so turned around. It's dark and I can't see. Oh, wow. They, um... Wait, is that a player? No, it's not a player. Okay, we're fine. It's like, wait a second. Those guys are getting destroyed. What's going on? Is that a player following me? What's going on here? Okay. Becky responded to the hack part? No. Um, you didn't tell me anything about it. Yeah, it's toasty over here. Get up a little more. Go through where you killed the first rock nose. I think we're just going to backtrack and go up the, uh, yeah, we're going to go across the bridge there. Uh, actually, we'll go up that way. I was going to try and go through the pen, but I don't walk through the pen often enough to know it well enough during the, the dark times. <laughs> during the dark night times. Whoop. Oh, that jump didn't work at all. That's a very bad jump. Nope. Oh, jeez. Too much... Too much damage there. We're healing up. I'm just gonna drink this. I'd rather not get myself in any trouble here. Not see the sun. Or the, uh, the moon, rather. See where we're at. There's more obsidian on the bridge. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, on the bridge on the wall. That's right. Let me go up through here, though. Don't mind me, just walking through. Don't mind me. Just walking through. Alright, that's the last of the aggressive people. Use your torchlight. Heat doesn't matter if you have ice in hand. Really? I just assumed it did. Where's my torch? There it is. Now I can see. There it is. We found it. More obsidian. Perfect. Still a little heat, but not enough to be a problem. Okay, perfect. Actually, yeah, especially over here, because this isn't as hot. We're farther away from all the lava. Love is far down below us. Line up this. <laughs> Looks like daybreak is coming finally. It's very hot. That before we gotta eat that before we end up taking damage. Alright. Let's get over to the obelisk. Grab that. Oh, we got some right here. We also want to make sure we go over to the shrine there, because that uh, is a mark, uh, a map mark, so we get experience for that. And this is why you bring glowing torches from the dregs place. Yeah, because they don't give off heat. True. We'll definitely need to go pick those up so we can get the witch fire powder anyway. Who's going to need the witch fire powder for doing sorcery? I love it when they walk right into our attacks. Keep on mining. I don't think we're going to hit full 60 here, but that's okay. If we get close, that's fine. We only need to get to 55, which I think we've already done. Yeah, we're at 56. We only need to get to 55 so we can start doing star metal stuff. 
There's very little things that we need to get to 64 to be able to start working on. It's just mostly the attributes points that we want it for. So even if we do this full circuit and we're not level 60 by the end of it, that's still acceptable. Go. Oh, this no, no, there's plenty. No, we'll be we'll be level sixty. I just quick glance here. There's enough. There's enough. I think we can hit sixty. Between this and then the here, caught again. Uh, between this and then the black ice that we have outside on our way back, we should have plenty. Plenty to level up of. It might be close. I think back at it. There's not a lot of black ice in the other area. Shrine of the Oracle. We get a little extra experience for that. This is good. Ice. You can watch the expiration date on the timer on the hot bar. Oh, yeah. So you can see right here when it's going to melt out. All that off. Hello, sir. A pilgrim approaching. Ah, a pilgrim. Oh. Yeah, no, that's all of it. I thought there was more on this side, so maybe we don't have enough. Okay. How much did you lose in the raid? Uh, we lost everything that I didn't stash. So we lost a good amount. But not everything. We lost all the stuff that we had, like, lying about. So all of the, like, the items of convenience we had lost. But we didn't lose anything of, like, we got out. Our main stash was nice and secure. But, uh, we lost, you know, everything we had on our person, plus a bunch of other things. How's it going, mean fella? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. But unfortunately, I've got a feeling we're going to be raided again. Before we stream, so... I think before we're going to be streaming Conan again, we're going to be raided. Because we had Valkyrie poking around. Makes me suspicious. I don't really know where Big Stick is, though. Um, hold on, I want to remove the torch. Who's this instead? Who's this? That stick. An hour and 30 ago. Wait a second. This might be Valkyrie's base here. This shouldn't be. This is a Thrall Wheel, right? This has got to be just a Thrall Wheel. Your foundations, I can't... Oh no, I can look through this one. This has got to be a Thrall Wheel. I'm like super confident this is a Thrall Wheel. That's right. Right? Right? This has got to be just a Thrall Wheel. Some foundations. can't poke my head through that. Foundation wall. Here we go. Yeah, empty. Gates are tough to look through. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright, we found a thrall wheel. Uh, we found a thralling spot, but we didn't find what I was looking for, which is their base. Because, again, the main thing is if we know where people live, we have like, that gives us power. So if they raid oh. us. Can always circle back around and be like, well, I know where you live. Are you sure you want to do that? Enjoy, please only take what you need. Oh. Spice Boys. Oh, Superman throwing axes. Ice, 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 ice and honey, ice and honey. With the pork rinds. I'll use that. Um, I'd drop off more ice, but actually I kind of want to keep the ice that I have. Unbroken. What was this one? Okay. Yeah, you can use throwing axes and maces together. They don't have a combo attack, though, but you can use them together. Generosity amidst conflict? Yeah. All breeds goodwill. It's important. Nice little refreshment station in the volcano. Yeah. Just in case you need a little break. Alright, so we are level 57. 
I don't, I really don't trust myself being able to kill these guys. They do a lot of damage. I'd like to be a little more kitted first. Cooling down is now a problem. Go ahead and get this instead. We want to here. Attributes, two more points of vitality. We're almost there. Three more points of vitality. And then we'll have 700 default health. Or... We should have 700 default health. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, Storm Snow, give me a quick moment here. You know, okay? You're struggling a bit with the heat? Oof. Do I know it? It's, uh... It's toasty over here. It's like 95 today. We'll get the black ice that we can. It might get us the final level, like finishing off this level, but we'll still be two levels from max by the end of this, I think. We have 22,000 black ice. Seems a little excessive. Some things hit sort of hard now. Yeah. We do. I mean, it's good, but... Goodness. Goodness. I just wasn't prepared. I know what I'm getting into. I mean, it does make it interesting. You know, we hit harder, or at least enemies have less health, I guess. I don't know if we actually hit harder, but enemies do have less health. Oh, you know what? Fighting... I wonder if it means that fighting the um, the children of Jill or whatever they are would be easier or harder now. Giant Palace respawn, maybe. Giant Palace? Oh, um, giant, yeah, 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 yeah. For all the black ice, it's probably respawned by now, but I don't want to run all the way back over there. Not with all this loot on us. I'm gonna go drop this all off. Anyone built anything over here? Nope. No, they haven't. Oh, yes. Yes, they have. This is why you look down. Who are you? Oh. Myrmidons. Built here. It's a nice little hiding spot. A nice little hiding spot here. <laughs> but you can't hide from me. Um, man, if I, I want to, I want to peek inside. Actually, that's right. Saber tooths aren't aggressive right now. So we're outside of reading hours. Perfect. Oh, okay. The, yep, tier three furnace. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a fully fledged base here. I don't know how you get in the house, though. Oh, and it's honeycombed! Oh, is it now? Oh. The door's on the other... Holy! Look at that thing. Look at that monster. Jeez. Yeah, this is their current base. This is their main base. So they, their main base is this right here. It only takes one level of tier 3 wall to get inside. So we can easily raid this with, what is it, nine explosives? Is that right? 95 Fahrenheit will be quite alright. Uh, I'm still cycling over here. That's between 105 and 110. Oh yeah, it's, it's 95 isn't too bad, but the real... Yeah, so he's right above here. But the real problem over here is that, like, the uh, <laughs> cooling off after the sun goes down it takes a while. But yeah, it's not... We're not we're not broaching 100. We're not... We are broaching 100, but we're not um, breaking into it. No, oh, I can only complain so much. Yeah, he's stacked. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of got a lot of stuff there. The hard part would be dealing with the pets. The pets is the real thing we have to worry about. Other than the pets, it should be pretty easy to raid him. And he's in our vicinity. We'll think on it. 
I probably won't because it's going to be really hard to deal with those uh, unless we have a top tier thrall. So we would need to go and level up a thrall first before you can actually truly think about going after him. Make poison arrows and just poison the pants? Hmm. Takes a long time. We only have two hours for our raid window because we start streaming at 9 and the raid window ends at 11. That makes it difficult. But if he was our only person we were raiding, we could do that. If we wanted to raid multiple targets, though, that'd be tough. Because we'd have to raid him first, because he's the most, um, it would be the most unsure of completing it. Or, I mean, you know, depending. If they're not online and no one else finds out that we're raiding them, and we raid them right before the end of raid window, blast a hole in the door, right? Manage to get in there and blast, uh, blast all the chests. Then, after that, you know, just wait until the raid window's over. And loot all of the, uh, all of those crafting stations. Oh my goodness. Silk and, damn. Silk and steel? Nice. We wouldn't be able to go through all the boxes if we did it that way, though. Will they take too much damage? Hmm. Also depends if they've actually leveled up those saber tooths or not. They might not be leveled. Entirely possible they're not. What are we doing? Drop that. Get all your iron. Work on that. What are we doing? 600. Halfway. That going. 700. Actually, that's enough. Once this is all converted, that's enough to go and build the perimeter. Not really anything else, but at least enough for the perimeter. Alright, so the dump chest is unfortunately going to get super full here. Uh, the iron we think should put back. Just put it in this chest here. Oh, this dump chest is going to get all the ice. So much ice. It actually all fit, almost all fits in one box. Tools and junk. Let's drop this off here. The raw ash and the crystal. Blood crystal we'll leave in here. So I remember it. Same with you. Did I drop all the gold in here? Where did I put the gold? There it is. Wait, wait a second. I should have a lot of gold. Where'd it go? There it is. That in here too. I'll drop off more coal. Iron stone in here. Go ahead and drop off a full stack of hide and have that full stack of hide stitched together for a hundred and change with the heavy stuff. Press in here. Alright, hold on. Let me go check some stuff here in chat. Alright, first things first, Stormy Snow, what'd you give me? Can you give me a rundown on something? Ah, I'm War Chief Red Cloud. Welcome. Alright, I totally missed you. I was running around. I think I was running around in the dark when that happened. Alright. Alright, Stormy Snow, so what happened? The hack offered the players a real deal of three of the player characters get their names back, a view of the past, present, and future each. Okay. In exchange, the player characters had to do the best of their capabilities and a raid, which uh, had already been told uh, they had already been told to cancel. Oh, okay. Let's scroll back down here. There we go. Um. Messed up part is the temperatures are registered starting at 11 a.m. Oh my, it's way too early. <laughs> mean fella, it's way too early. Hey, we're Chief Red Cloud. I appreciate the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Yesterday you were working in the shop, and because some of the machines were so hot, the temps inside of the... Oh my goodness. Inside the shop at almost noon, not quite noon, was 120 degrees Fahrenheit. You're sweating like a waterfall? Uh, I believe it. I believe it. That sounds awful. 
That sounds absolutely awful. All right, let's go to knowledge. Let's go get a box. Box. Reservation box. Stump box. All right, let's get this preservation box built. We need this. Decorations. Storage. Box. Harden. Harden steel. We can do hard steel. We got black ice, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, give me those bricks. Take this. Take that. Go. Uh, and how much hardened steel do we need? One. That's fine. We can get that done. We get the ice block uh, dropped in for that. Uh, we'll go drop all these in here for now. Give me this. Uh, where's our dismantling table? Dismantling bench. Give you this guy. I give you this guy. We can dismantle these kits. No, we can't. Ugh, these kits are worthless. These kits are awful. I'm never gonna use them. We'll just leave them here. We got the useful stuff. We'll do the rest in there. All right. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to keep putting stuff in these dump chests for right now. Some stone. Poison in here. It's fine. We're just gonna drop maybe everything else in here for now, and we'll sort it out later. These horns we can drop. They don't want to hold on to because it's food. All right, we just need the hardened steel. Why is it raining in your house? Ah, because for some reason this game doesn't have it where if it registers as a roof over your head, it stops letting the rain go through. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just just part of the game for reasons. Not sure. Probably turned off the ambient occlusion in his settings. Where he's using the floor tiles as a roof. I don't know. Uh, they're ceiling tiles. Is it because we have ambient occlusion off? We're waiting on steel. We can take a look. Uh, video? Gameplay? I don't know if there's a way to do that. I don't know. I didn't see a setting. There could be a setting. Wait, we need insulated wood. It's the other thing we need. Oh! Oh, I see how it is! I see how it is! Our smelter over here thinks he can intimidate me by going to the T-pose, huh? Huh? Oh, jeez, do I have anything I can, uh... Haunt at this guy? You! Back to work, mister. Get back to work. I'm not going to be intimidated by you and T-posing. Come on now. Alright, we need building materials. So, should be under video, but maybe it's part of a broader setting? I don't know. Since it's all that's in video, there's not much in here. Alright, we got what we need. What? What? Oh, I dropped all my black ice to make the hard man, yeah, of course. Right. And you keep working on that. Right. Now we're talking. And we'll go ahead and put this right here. Dump all of our ice in here because we might as well keep all of it, right? Keep all that going. Uh, we'll grab this meat. Grab this meat. Stash that. Drop you here. And we'll drop you here. Perfect. And the black ice will leave in this box. Perfect. And then tools. Drop, drop, drop. We'll hold on to this pick. Actually, we... No, hold on to this pick. We just have to learn it, and we can just repair it. Easy peasy. I'll fix it. All right, excellent. So that's all sorted. We don't need to carry this ice on us. Perfect. All right, and then so attribute-wise, we are exactly two levels out from finishing and getting our either glutton or for punishment or last stand. Not sure which one we want to go with yet, but one of them will take. So we're almost fully built. 
And when it's time to go do PvP stuff, we'll drop our expertise down to probably 10. And then take these 10 points and toss them to strengths. So we'll go, uh, we'll probably go 10, 0, or 20, 0, 20, 0, 10, 0 is likely the build we're going to go with. Because stamina regens so quickly, I don't think we need too much more stamina. And while Defensive Bochester is nice, taking 15% less damage when you're currently attacking or blocking, and then getting uh, Steel Hued, where we can only take at most 25% of our max health, it's nice, but I don't know. What we could do is we could actually dump our Vitality and go for Steel Hued. You could go do Vitality ten, like 5 or 10. And with Steel Hued, it still takes 4 hits to kill you. I don't know. But agility makes you faster? It does. It does. But we're going to just go do a big beefy big beefy mode. But the thing is that um, Quick Booted here makes it so you actually run faster. Sprint faster and whatnot. The thing is, my my objective, our build, our, our build's going to be when we do PvP is we aren't going to be the hunt down and kill them wolf cheetah type type build. Instead, we're going to be the the sea urchin. Right? We're going to be a we're going to be a good old sea urchin or a, a snapping turtle. You hit me, I take that hit. Well, I hit you, I take off your arm. You 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 hit me once, and my shell dinged it. It's a little dinged up now. But I hit you. And you're gonna feel it for the rest of your life, right? That's what we're looking at. That's the build. Now well, we can take this stuff out of here. Here, here. Ah, oh, these are building materials. Get those out of there. We're definitely gonna have to go and clean this up. I might actually just spend some time off stream doing some inventory management. I'll also go stash our loot somewhere too. Full Vitality, Strength, Stamina. That is a build I've been interested in trying at some point, but I haven't uh, haven't gone forward with that. It's it's one I've been intrigued in. You know? This is an intriguing thought. Let's go ahead and let's get some more here. Let's, let's actually build out this sandstone structure we have here real quick. This will be done. He's done being trained. We'll build up the sandstone structure a smidge in here and see if we can get it to be a bigger platform. We'll just like set up the platform so we can build the uh, tier two. We want to get a tier two wheel on there. Sneaking into chat, how's it going, Mr. Throw? How are you doing today? You don't understand how this game doesn't have stack into nearby chest buttons like the Rising. Uh, I don't know. So I was actually thinking about this on my own earlier today when I was thinking about when we were going to be playing Conan. Is what I would like to see them do is uh, we, we don't have hardened steel tools yet we can start making them now what i'd like to see them do is actually add in the function of golems doing chest sorting i think that would be awesome imagine if, if golems are able to sort chests that'd be pretty cool <laughs> Let's just go ahead and make a. We'll put, we can put this above it, so we can have a upstairs and downstairs here. We can have a foundation above and a foundation below. Right? Did I do this right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, we went one, two, four. It's fine. We can. This is only five, so we can actually get exactly one more level in here. Oh, wait. Long bridge. It's a stone, right? It's a stone. Yeah, so now what we can do is we can have the smaller one right here. And we have the bigger one upstairs. Like so. That should be good. Uh, I need a door. Go oh, and a ramp. Not this stuff. That's fine. Nothing else is in there. We'll leave it open for now. We'll have to go and get fibers. Can't bears do that? Someone told me that they could do. No, no, no. There's, there's no sorting mechanic in this game. It'd be cool. Bear is good. Okay, so this is actually blocking us from getting it. Okay. So 
my when I open up this door, I was getting caught on that. Perfect. So we got this uh, armor tier three. We'll just, we'll stash him in a box for now. We're gonna put him in this box. I'm gonna risk him. If someone blows in here but doesn't have enough stuff to go through all of our chests, because our chests are really spread out. This is why I like spreading my chests out as opposed to having them all congregated in one spot. This just requires more explosives. And ends up being really obnoxious. So we'll want to move these two. Just to be as annoying as possible. So you can't use the explosion of one. Um, this one would actually have that problem here. We can go ahead and just put him here. Put this out of the wall. So these are all, for the most part, this one not so much. Put a snack box over here. We all are cooking additions. A build box. It's fine. Move them over. Put everything in the vault. Uh, easy sort. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing eventually. We'll probably just get a, a big vault, sort everything there. Good. Get so much gold, it's crazy. That right, perked. There we go. Um, grab some hide and let's put a bedroll in here. It's currently we only have the bed in our other location, but that can be easily blown up if someone wants to go blow it up. Let's not give them the opportunity of locking us out of this location. Go ahead and put this here. Go. Perfect. How many jars does it take to blow up a vault? Um, is it 15 or 20? I don't quite remember. Yellow's doesn't expire? It lasts for an hour. Potions last for an hour. So it'll expire soon. It lasts for an hour. All right, perfect. So we're in a pretty good spot here. I'm pretty happy with how you have everything. We still have some space in here to drop some loot off in. So I think we're I think we're good. Let's go ahead and unlock everything. Because again, when we unlock this, we're going to be unlocking the um, these things here. And the other thing I always end up doing is I don't I don't unlock it until we have all the chrome coins set. But again, because of the the nonsense that's going on where it's like 50 times experience, I got that done with, I think it was like 17 or 14 um, tasks. Let's go ahead and let's get this done. And go ahead and unlock this thing with all of our crom coins. And we'll grab all the boulders. What is the siege boulders? They're like upgraded, um, they're upgraded things, I don't know. They're, uh, they're upgraded catapult ammunition for your trebuchet. So, uh, there's that one and there's this one, which is a star metal guy. And then there's another one here, which is a burning one. I'm curious how this one works. That one sounds really interesting. And I know we can make the iron one. I'm assuming we can make the rest. Congrats on finishing the battle pass. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was really hard. It took me, what, two hours? It took me like an hour or something. It took almost no time at all because, again, these challenges were are marked at 50 times experience, which is not normal. It's ridiculous. Normally it's 3x for a, when you have multipliers, but because of the age of war shenanigan failure stuff that happened. There you go. All right, it's unlocked. We can go ahead and claim rewards. You guys ready for a lot of noise? Uh, claim all rewards. I don't know if it's noisy. Yeah, you're right. noisy. There we go. Unlocking them all. Bam. And because we went and did that, uh, going to do that first, getting the crom coins, would you look at that? We got 1,200 crom coins again. So we can go ahead and unlock the next battle pass. But this is the reason why I never unlock the battle pass until we've completed the battle pass. Or at least completed it enough that we can get all the crom coins. It went faster with you as well. Yeah, it goes so fast with that. Again, it was only like 17 or so actions we had to do. It's really good. There are more battle passes. Every three months, there is a new chapter. 
every three chapters, there is a new age. Every ch age has three chapters. At least so far, it's what it seems like is going to happen. And there's always ten from coin drops, which gives you your ten back. So it takes it costs ten bucks to get a thousand two hundred crom coins. So ten dollars USD for this, which unlocks it, and you just keep on going. So this is my fourth battle pass that I only paid once for. So I think it's totally worth it. You can use these crom coins in the bazaar, but like, I don't know. I don't like this kind of stuff. I like this kind of stuff. Uh, when you get a tread, don't wait, uh, don't need to wait for an hour to make one. Wait, really? No, oh, no, 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 we didn't get a free tread, it's a figurine. Wow, they don't stack, that's awkward. I guess it makes sense. Okay, um, go ahead and drop these off. And this is why I wanted to wait until we had a place we could stash them, because I don't want to, I don't want to lose these. I want to use them. Uh, but no, we got a figurine, it looked like. Go back to the battle pass here. But there's a figurine that we got, I think. Yeah, it's a figurine. Make a small commemorative figurine. Yeah. Yeah, so now we got more things unlocked. So that's how we got this thing. The Terranian bedrolls, how we got that. I don't know if there's anything we got from the battle pass we can make with our bare hands. Doesn't look like we got anything from that we can make with our bare hands. Uh, but we, we can make a whole bunch of other axes and new armor sets. Too. Cool. Felt like that. That's really good. I am Hemez. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Good to have you here. Yeah, so you can make this Chieftain Axe. It's a great axe. Two-handed great axe. Uh, we unlocked this spear. Like just a spear. Um, oh, this is the one I was more, I was curious about. So it is an actual offensive hammer. Nice. We'll probably end up using this. I don't know if this is a two-handed hammer or not. I don't know if it's a two-handed hammer. No, it can't be. Right? Damn it. I don't know if, it, if it's... I, I'm hoping it's a one-handed hammer. I'm hoping it's a one-handed hammer. And this axe looks really cool, too. And we have... There's the legendary versions, too. So you can always get the, the better ones. It does more damage. Very cool. We'll need to pick up sorcery. For sure. Did I miss the first and the second battle pass? Wasn't playing? Ah, it happens. It happens missing them. But, again, once you do it once, you get the crom coins. Keep the crom coins forever. And I will not use those crom coins until we finish the next battle pass. That's how it'll go. Until they... Like, I honestly expected it to be that once they... When it was at the the last battle pass of an age, they don't give you crom coins. That was what I was expecting. So that you had to buy a battle, pa a battle pass for every new age. So every three battle passes required one purchase. That was my expectation. But that's not the case. Cool. There was 30,000 health point wall in the bazaar once, and you missed it? Oh my goodness, what? Seems kind of broken. Seems kind of absurdly broken. Okay, we need to unlock a handful of things down here. Okay, we need to unlock you. Um, improve preservation box, we can do that later. It's not important right now. We have some. I don't want to use wall. Definitely going to unlock the vault important. Um, oh, Exploding Guardian Hedgehog is different from everything else. Okay. This is the regular pickaxe. We'll unlock that. So now we can use that regular pickaxe. Uh, fence. Stairs. Definitely need those. Oh, we do want to be able to get the crenellations. So we'll want to crenellate the walls. And the caps. Um, yeah, we're going to want golems. Do that. Anything else stand out for us right now? Pretty real pain. We should probably get that so we can at least repair this. Hmm. Might just wait there for now. Not fully leveled yet. But yeah, okay. We can get star metal tools. Unlock that. At least star metal. I don't know. There's still hardened steel. Ah, yes. Unlock this one. Okay, that feels good enough for now. We'll wait on the rest. Witchfire? Ah, uh, yeah, we do need Witchfire for us to do, um... What should we call it? Sorcery. True, we want the alchemical powder for the witch powder. Good call. We're gonna need that. Alright, perfect. 
Well, I think that was pretty successful. So with that, we're going to end it here today. This is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is between now and next time, I'll go ahead and grab our loot and I'll go and stash it. I'll stash our loot somewhere um, so that it's nice and hidden. We don't have anyone steal our stuff. Because I imagine we're going to get raided. I don't think we're going to be uh, standing by the time we come back. Because uh, tomorrow and the day after, we'll be playing Fallout 4. We'll be trying to finish up that game. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be playing more Cult of the Lamb. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to try and play more Conan Exiles. Friday is a maybe. But Saturday, Sunday, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to continue to play Conan Exiles. But that does mean there's going to be a five to six day lull between us playing. So I expect this place to be raided. So just be aware, I'm going to move some stuff around at some point. You can go ahead and do that. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can find someone to raid. Pass on the excitement. Then I'm going to sign off. Let's see here. Who can we go ahead and raid? Someone playing Conan Exiles that can go ahead and raid? No, one, None of our normal uh, normal streamers that we like to raid is, are on right now. Let's see if we can find someone. Always aim for a smaller streamer because I want to give them... Here we go. Playing solo. Here we go. Let's give let's give this guy a raid. Let's give him a try. Uh, I always want to give the you know a, a chance for some of these smaller streamers to get some visibility in these games, right? Because we're we're the largest English streamer for Conan Exiles right now. So if we raid someone, they will now be the next largest English streamer. So let's go ahead and give uh, Jestrin a raid. Looks like Jestrin doesn't have follower-only chat on, which is always something I'm concerned about. We can go ahead and give him a raid. Starting off the raid. All right, here's the raid message for us to jump on in there and give a whole bunch of noise. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate it. Again, playing these games is always more fun with everyone hanging out here in chat. Always more fun. And you helped me a bunch, too. You know, there's a lot of things in this game I still don't know, even though I have hundreds of hours in it. There's things I don't see as I'm running around as well. Um, and besides, there's suggestions that I just never think about. But have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you tomorrow for Fallout. Take care. Bye-bye.